<laughs> I think they'll kick you out the airport, leave it anyway. Welcome back to Lexi's Arena, <laughs> presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! Woo-hoo! We have to, I'm losing my yeah, we have to wait till he finish. <laughs> you know, he has to finish. Yeah. Hey, some of y'all didn't clap loud enough out there. All right. <laughs> Lexi don't play it's, that shit. There's two people in here. <laughs> Yeah. Breaking the, the fourth wall, they don't know that. Well, I'm it's, telling you, it's man, six. They, it's well, outside they, of us. They working. Oh yeah, they working. <laughs> they working. Slow day in the arena. But but it's gonna the, be cracking. But it's gonna be. See, so you came through in the, in the Debo show. You ready? You got some week. some things on your mind. <laughs> Let me hold up, yeah, Brandon. Tuck your chain in. Shit. Just tuck mine in. Mine in. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting day in the arena. So this is Lexi's arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. We we got the undisputed best shooter on the couch. Lexi Brown, back here with her. Oh. Y'all gonna have to refill this thing. Uh-huh. She used all the yeah, 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 She's using all of it. So yeah, yeah. I didn't use it enough yesterday, so I'm gonna use it today. You gonna use it up today? Yeah. Meanwhile, she's blowing all in. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's a part of the job. I accepted that <laughs> when I became host of Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. It comes with the territory. We got. The former namesake of the show, Gilbert Arenas. Yep, best practice shooter on the, in, on the couch. Woo! Boo! <laughs> best practice. You know in the NBA they got like practice players, right? They're great in practice. Woo! Woo! A lot of red on the couch, Gil. Thankfully we're in the valley. A lot of red. I, I, had, I got the memo. That's a nice job. I got red hair, so. Well, I, well, I asked. <laughs> And I was told, no, nah, I can wear whatever I want. They told me to wear red. I said, can't do it. It's a family thing. Not allowed. No red clothing at the house. <laughs> Don't have any red clothing. We got Brandon Jennings Damn. back here with us, representing Tough Crowd. <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks legend. We got some, some Milwaukee Bucks things to discuss. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, Hov said he'd be watching the broadcast. Who? When did you, you talk oh, to him? Or, or, Jay-Z. How'd you hear that? Yeah, yesterday. Like Jigga Man? Yeah, yesterday. You saw him? Yeah, I, had, I went to t- talk to, uh, I had talked to Emory yesterday. Okay. Hov had walked in for like... Five minutes. First thing he said was like, "I'll be seeing y'all on that broadcast." Uh-huh. Well, Jay Z, pull up. Yeah, pull up. Jay-Z. Good enough, so, right there. So yeah, I thought that was dope for us, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, host so. favorite basketball podcast, <laughs> Gil, or Lexi's <laughs> Arena, presented by almost <laughs> damn it, two days in a row. Host favorite podcast. We'll take that as gospel. <laughs> and we got Kenya Mark back here with us. Man, a lot of uh, see, the Adidas too, all right? Oh, no, nah, man, I got, got, I got plenty of shit in the wardrobe okay. now. I ain't, I ain't, <laughs> don't nobody, ain't nobody paying me. Adidas, give us a bag. <laughs> talking about? Me and Kane wear the same size, send him a bunch of gear. Yeah, Whatever he yeah, don't want, you know, I will take. No, I ain't turning nothing down but my collar. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what's cracking in Lexi's arena today. Draymond says KD needs to do what Steph did in 2022 to get into the GOAT convo. But is Steph in the GOAT convo? Uh, DeAndre Aiden has struggled during his time with the Blazers, but thinks he's still a max player. Is that facts or cap? And Doc Rivers is the Glenn. Bucks' new head coach. Glenn. Damn. Glenn Rivers. I'm going to call him Glenn. Glenn Aiden, Glenn Aiden, Glenn Aiden, Glenn Aiden Rivers. Glenn Aiden. <laughs> but is he a good fit for the Bucks? And, and was there some potential dirty macking going on behind the scenes? For him to land that job. But before we get into all that, as always, the show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app. Use promo code Lexi, L-E-X-I-E, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. Go ahead, download the Underdog Fantasy app. They do so much for y'all by giving y'all this great show, Lexi's Arena, <coughs> presented by Underdog Fantasy. So <laughs> help us help you <laughs> and support them. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. You drop a good question in the chat with your Underdog Fantasy username. We use it on the show. We will give you a $50 bonus. If you send us a video to mostyfansgill at gmail.com and we use it on the show, you get $100. Keep it in the 30 to 40 second range. And as always, Lexi's Arena is live on YouTube, but you also have audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So, go start the show a little bit different. Uh, when you think about great sports rivalries, Lakers, Celtics, 
Yankees, Red Sox, Cowboys, Eagles, Duke, North Carolina may come to mind. Cincinnati Xavier. Cincinnati Xavier. Okay. They ain't gonna leave us out. Okay. Xavier's a college? It's one no of the best rivals going, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Arizona, <laughs> Arizona State. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Arizona, Arizona State. That's not right, bro. <laughs> Arizona, Arizona State. <laughs> but what about FedEx no. versus UPS? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. FedEx driver, UPS driver got into a heated oh, game of one-on-one -on -one recently. Got it. FedEx got some explaining to do after their guy got okie doke one of the oldest tricks in the book. So one person commented oh, on the video. It was the walk off. <laughs> one person commented, FedEx was lost just like my packages. <laughs> <laughs> What y'all think about FedEx taking on UPS one-on-one -on -one battle? Lexi, we'll start with you. This is your arena. I mean, they work hard. They deserve to take a few minutes out of their day to enjoy themselves. So I'm not mad at that, but they do be losing packages. So yeah. tighten up. That's, this is why I should be late. <laughs> All across the country, these motherfuckers out here doing this right here. Getting jumpers up, getting buckets. Getting jumpers up. I just want to know how that came about. Like... <laughs> But they both walk in, and they both saw each other, and then they saw the hoop, yeah. and they was like, let's play. Let's battle. The kids, fight the kids. Y'all yeah, yeah. should play one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, though. You know, hopefully, none of their jobs got impacted, because it was an enjoyable piece of content. What y'all think about the, the FedEx UPS? Burgeoning basketball rivalry. I'm UPS, so. Okay. Uh, no yeah. FedEx? What? No, I'm fucking FedEx. You don't open the box if you can? Nah, send it back? No. You ain't fucking FedEx? <laughs> I, don't, I don't go through FedEx for packages. What about DHL? What are all just the regular postal service? They're going to get their ass mopped up. <laughs> yeah, yeah ass mopped up. No, it's funny, though. No, that's, it is funny. Kids probably hyped it, like you said. Yep. Yeah, kids. Probably, I bet you can't beat him. I bet you can't. Uh -huh. <laughs> He'll fry you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Kids out there talking cash shit. He going to fry you. Watch, watch. I want to know if there's like a... There has to be. Someone in America is throwing a company game. Oh, for, sh for sure. Oh, you work like, leagues? Yeah, yeah, you know, like it's like, uh, like park league office. games, yeah. like on the weekends. Police versus firemen. Yeah, you know, you know like that. shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, oh, that happened in the office. Go the office workers versus the people who was in like the package room. Oh, yeah. That's one of the What places. about Gil's Arena? We should take on other shows. Oh, we would kill everybody. Yeah, look, yeah. Oh, my God. Podcast P, who's locking up Podcast P? Who else he got on the team? Is it? No, Jackie Long, Bucket Gitter. Dallas Rutherford. Trapping. Mm -hmm. Bucky Gear back in this day. All the time. We just trapping. <laughs> we just, <laughs> just trap. <laughs> Double triple teams. Box three. Everybody else. Box three. <laughs> but does anybody want the Gills Arena crew smoke? I'm setting screens. Actually, no, we got Rashad too. Y'all got it. I'm hyping. Coach. I'm hyping. Let me do I coach. Let me assist. Them. I'm a shooter. You said you're gonna coach. Yeah. No, you have to play. For what? What do you mean? It's your show? My, no, you oh, no, it's my last couple, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see my last couple games in the NBA? <laughs> I was trying to think yeah, of yeah, yeah, other yeah. shows like we could go play pick up with. Like, Pat Bev Pod. We go. Let's get Pat Bev in the next It's just him. Gil Shootout. But yeah. Rashad versus Pat Bev, main event, Gil Shootout. Presented by just one Bell. person. That would be joke. That's what we need. We still need to put that on. Yeah. Million the dollar prize. <laughs> the ones. That ones, man. So it's rivalry week in the nice. NBA, mm -hmm. but what's the greatest rivalry in sports? Duke UNC. I figured you might go that route. Yeah. I think you might go that route. <laughs> um, ooh, Chris Paul Rondo. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Paul and Rondo, baby. That's the so beef is long lasting. <laughs> yeah. Brandon, what's the greatest rivalry? Uh, I used to like UCLA and USC back in the day. Yeah, it was. I mean, hometown, so. It was thriving. It was thriving a little bit. It was turned up, sports but, arena. But UNC and Duke, for sure. For sure. What about Chris Paul, Scott Foster? Ooh. That's, that's, well, that's one, that's a that's one, a, that ain't, that ain't, that, that's a one-sided one right there. That, 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 that ain't no rivalry. <laughs> that ain't no rivalry. That's, that's a domination. Yeah, absolutely. That's. <laughs> okay, what's the greatest rivalry, in your opinion, in sports? Uh... Yankees, Red Sox. Mm. Mm. Even today? Yeah, that shit's yeah, still, still, bro. Okay. It goes down yeah, for all our East Coasters. <laughs> Ooh! Well, uh, this is before this year. It was New York Knicks versus New York Knicks fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gil, Gil, once again, add, add another city <laughs> to the list where Gil's Arena is. I, 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 I just <laughs> University of Texas, Oklahoma. 
Like that ride. Was that the Red Red River? Red that? River. That's a, that's I'm a big one. I'm trying to think of Florida, Florida State. Yes, but yeah, yes. Duke UNC is yeah. top of the list for sure. Your Knicks fans Cow- are not, not Cowboys particular. versus everybody? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Cause I'm sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> we got a big bag of Cowboys gear here. Here at the. Oh, I got some more to add to it too. If you'd like any, I found a jersey. I got a. I got a. I got a Dak jersey. I got some jackets that I didn't put in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, not Dakota. The, the, oh yeah, the, yeah. The Dakota, Dakota got it. Yeah, Dakota. Oh, you, got, you done go. with them for real? Right, I'm tired of the motherfuckers' legs. So what if next year they like? That's fine. Great. You not hopping back on? No. The Miami Heat and uh, Knicks used to be good in the '90s. Back in the day. It, that shit always was Yeah, that's big, yeah. But see, that was the same fan base though. What? Lakers Celtics. Miami. Oh then. Lakers Celtics. Celtics. Oh, fair Lakers Celtics. Still, yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah, just, just the, old, yeah. so they got the most championships yeah. of each. So, so are, are you a football free agent? Are you moving on to a new team from the Cowboys? Or are you just Yeah, I'm um um I'm an independent. Okay. Somebody got to win your heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Free agent. Got favorite players now. <laughs> For the love, okay. I'm watching certain. I'm players. watching teams. Yeah, I'm. I'm watching. I'm watching the. Chat Ravens. says uh, McCants and Miko. Oh. <laughs> it's a good rivalry. <laughs> and with that in mind, let's, let's keep the. Hey, that's the chat, man. I'm just reading the chat. The chat says a lot of stuff. Good. You don't have to. You don't have, you don't to, have to repeat everything. Repeat everything you they like say. Like your mother say. Keep your mouth shut. You talk too much. <laughs> Jordan <laughs> Pippen. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan <laughs> Pippen. Let's talk hey, about the hey, biggest hey, news. Hey, hey. That's, in the NBA that's, going on right now. So. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, that's a rivalry. <laughs> that's gonna be. And, a, it, and it's only gotten worse. Yeah. I need that wedding to be like a different world for those who remember. No, yeah, that's fucking horrible. <laughs> this guy just pulled play the, Hey, play the theme song and the Jordan theme song. That'd be fun. Or the Chicago Bulls theme song. <laughs> Cat versus Steve. Cat versus uh, Kevin Hart. I like to see Cat versus Kevin Hart one on one basketball. That Damn, somebody wrote. Oh my God. Somebody wrote Gill versus mid range jumpers. Small ball. <laughs> Agent Twelve versus the midi. <laughs> Small ball. <laughs> Small ball. <laughs> but let's talk about the biggest news uh, in the NBA. After unconfirmed reports last night that the Bucks and Docs Rivers reached an agreement on the head coaching job, those reports were confirmed this morning. We're getting a little more clarity on the factors that led to the Bucks dismissing Adrian Griffin as head coach and replacing him with uh, Mr. Glenn Rivers. So according to reports, Dame wasn't rolling with the Bucks' offensive scheme. And Giannis had increasingly lost faith in Griffin. Uh, Thanasis probably did too because he's a good big brother. Mm. Uh, the Athletic also reported that Doc Rivers has been an informal consultant with Adrian Griffin and the Bucks this season, and now he's the head coach. So we got a special mostly fans question from, <laughs> from T2 then on the situation. What up, Lexi's Arena? Shout out everybody oh on the God. couch. Bucks just got their new head coach, Doc Rivers. With that being said, is it clear now that Giannis' little brother is really untouchable? Shout out to everybody on the couch. Shout out to the home team. Mm. Tough crowd. Okay, I'll let him make it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did he said his brother's untouchable like because he got to be home to trade him or something? <laughs> Wherever Giannis go, the Nasties go. I feel like they're... But no, they're trying like, to trade him or something? Nah. Like, oh. The Nasties is like a tradable player. Like. I feel like behind the scenes, the Nasties has a lot more power than we might acknowledge. <laughs> he was he really getting this going. He acts on the bench and on the court. He has to... It's my little brother team, team homie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Brandon, resident Bucks fan, Bucks and Six, what are your thoughts on Doc Rivers <laughs> taking over as Bucks head coach? <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll see. Um, we will see, man. What will we yeah. see, Brandon? What we will, will we see? We will see the Bucks in the finals. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody left. What finals? The NBA finals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he don't know who his coach is. <laughs> He's, I mean, he won a ring. Oh my God! You don't you don't know Glenn. <laughs> you don't know Glenn like I know Glenn. <laughs> like I know Glenn. That Glenn. That Glenn. Oh, Glenn yeah. Rivers. Y'all in trouble, goddamn it! Seriously. Yeah, why why are the Bucks in trouble with Glenn Rivers as their head coach? I'm calling him Doc. I don't you know. I got respect for him. Man. Do you know his resume? Like, what the fuck has he actually done? He's yeah. on the ring with Boston. 
Made it to the finals, what, two times? With Boston? With the team that was favored every year after they got Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. And then that same championship year, they had to go seven games in the first round to the eighth seed that they did not win a game on the road. They won all the games at home. Second round, they did not win a game at on the road. Went seven. <laughs> First two rounds, they went straight seven games <laughs> with some trash ass teams, and they didn't win in that team's arena. <laughs> no. That Glenn, <laughs> that, that was shit. Yo, we need some defenders, yeah, we, I can we, tell you this. We need some more pieces. Now, now we need some defenders. I don't give a fuck what they say about the resume. This is all you need to know. Besides Red Arback, and we can even challenge his talent pool. You know, Doc probably has the most Hall of Fame players he's coached. He's coached the most Hall of Fame players in NBA history. I'll put like 68%. I don't see anyone like just thinking that someone has a better list than him. He has about 20 to 21 Hall of Famers under his belt. And if Ben, if ben Simmons makes it, he will be at it. If Maxie ever makes it, he will be at it. Like, he's done coached that many, that much talent, and only has one championship on a given. So, so you said Milwaukee bit themselves in the foot right here? From his, from his resume? He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't adjust well. He doesn't adjust well. Like, if you beat him with, like, let's just say going left, mm -hmm. he won't adjust to that. So you're going to beat his ass the same way every single time because he won't adjust. I knew something was wrong with him when this happened. It was Clippers versus Houston. They were up 3-1. And the coach said, the coach said, um, we're going to hack DeAndre Jordan, right? And they asked Doc. And Doc said, well, if they're going to hack DeAndre Jordan, we're going to hack um, Howard. And I'm like, you're going to lose doing that because you don't have a one-on-one -on -one player. You don't have James Harden. Chris Paul don't really get to the free throw line like that. And if he does, you're in trouble. J.J. Ray don't get to the free throw line. Blake Griffin... Right, he has to get to the free throw line off of just bounce passes and try to go up there and dunk. You don't have anybody that's going to generate fouls once you get into the penalty. So that would be dumb for you. That would be great for them because now you can't touch James Harden when James Harden wants to get busy. Right. So if you try to, and exa he copied it every single time. They get the foul and he gets the foul. They get the foul and he gets the foul. As soon as the game, as soon as they're in the penalty, hey, Dwight, sit down. James Harden, one-on-one. -on -one. Game seven, James Harden shot 18 free throws. So, are you saying that you're not feeling uh, the Doc Rivers <laughs> or the Bucks move? No, I mean, I don't mind that he got a job. I can just tell you, as a Buck fan, y'all ain't going to win shit. As long as he's there? I mean, mm. I mean, he did, didn't he have... It was like, didn't we just see him in... How many times really? we... Like, look at the great team. Like, this man's had great teams. That Boston team, you, it was a great team. You, 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 you won the first year, and then you suffered every single That That uh, L.A. Clipper team, you had a lot of talent over there. You didn't do nothing. Philly, you had a great team in Philly. So, so Lexi, this is your arena. Uh, what are your thoughts on Doc Rivers being named as the Bucks head coach? Um, it's just a little confusing. I mean, we talked about it yesterday, just the whole firing of the previous coach and immediately bringing in Doc. Like, usually that takes a little bit of time to find the replacement. Okay. So just trying to see, I don't know if it'll be released or not, what was going on behind the scenes for all of this to transpire. Like, And then reports come out that Doc was helping out the Bucks and the coach. Um, that is also a little odd, but. So, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's, say that again. They he said he was, like, helping out the, the team so, and the coach, like mentoring or... Informal consulting. Consulting. So y'all gonna hire the motherfucker that was consulting me on the plays that I was using? <laughs> I'm doing exactly what this motherfucker was telling me to do, and you find yeah, me hire him? You yeah. wanna tell him what to do? Yeah. Doc was, wasn't, wasn't correcting him. Like, yeah, yeah you run that. 
Yeah, run that, do that, do that, yeah, 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 do that, do that, do that shit, yeah, go ahead, that's, do that. that's gonna work, that's listening. gonna work, right there, run that play, right there, keep running it that way. Doc. The do low twist. So, can you, uh, do you feel like Doc Rivers may or may not have done some dirty Mackey? I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't want to put that on the man's character, okay. you know what I'm saying, that ain't on me to put on his character, I don't, <clears throat> could have been, yeah, okay. could it have not been, yeah, but. A little odd, though, that I'm informally consulting uh, this squad. Shortly thereafter, y'all fired the head coach, and now I'm... Yeah, no, it's just... The full-time consultant, if you will. <laughs> yeah, no. Like Doc as a person, got nothing against him, but I'm kind of on <coughs> what Gil is saying in that regard, right? Man had a hell of a lot of talent, dog. <laughs> Hell of a lot of talent, year in, year out. And some, yeah, because in the playoffs, it comes, we all know, man, it comes down to making adjustments, rotations, do's, don'ts, a time, it's just something. Mm -hmm. when, when the game is on the line, it's just, it ain't there. And when the series is on the line, it ain't there. And, of course, we go out and play, but... Situational things and certain certain things need to be done, and certain guys don't need to play, and some guys do need to play, and we've all sat there and watched it in real time and wonder, like, hmm, <laughs> I wonder, like, so. <laughs> so, question. But he got a chance to prove us wrong, though. Right. Go ahead. So, with them. I guess since people, since we don't, since a lot of people don't agree with Doc Rivers, mm -hmm. since they're kind of making like a panic coach's decision, do you, do you think they should keep Chris Middleton? If I could get some for Chris Middleton right now, I would try to move him. That could help. Because they, because seem like since people don't like Doc, it's like they're panicking. Yeah, definitely right. panic mode. But uh, I shit, if I'm there, I'm reaching out to Chicago. Like, I like that. Like, that that'd be a good move for mm. Zach Levine straight up. But mm. um, yeah, that's basketball. I'm just thinking yeah. basketball terms. What they third score right now? What you probably need to compete? Yeah. With everything else that you have on the roster. Like I like they. I'm saying they got some solid NBA players. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I think they like like Chris Middleton. He just right now where he he's been. In and out. I see the lineup. We got Chris some bugs be, in the arena. Uh -huh. Chris would have to be like like that third option that Clay was yes. when uh Absolutely. when uh, KD was there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Somebody left the door open. Yeah. No. I, I wish. I, 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 hey, anybody in that our Arizona group chat? If you or no, no, not it wouldn't be on the Arizona group chat. If uh, ooh, that'd be Tommy Shepard or um, it'd be Tommy Shep. How many group chats you got, Gil? A bunch. Okay. Maybe Tommy Shep <laughs> and um, Calvin Booth, Denver Nuggets. When they were down, when they were up 3-1, and I wrote a whole game plan, long ass thing, and I said slow, and I said to slow the game down. Slow. I said to beat the Clippers, slow the game down. I said they're great when the when the, the game is going on because they got like four guys who's averaging 20. So all, all, all of them eat. If you slow the game down, keep it in between like 100 to 110, under 110, it favors Denver, it favors Jokic because that means it's more of a half court game and he can dominate in the half court. If you put less meat, which means possessions, onto the field, those guys start looking at each other. They start fighting over who's gonna get the shots. And I said, however you win, don't change your game plan because Doc is horrible at adjusting. And I, I wrote, he's horrible at adjusting. However you beat him in game five, you're going to beat him in game six and seven. He won't change at all. I, I, I wish, I, I hope one of them can send it to me so I can show you. This is to the 2020. Wait, how do you, text, email, you got to Google Docs, it saves text. everything. Yeah. You think people <laughs> are going to like judge him taking over as a coach? During playoffs, like, does the regular season even matter at this point, or is it how he playoffs. handles his team in playoffs? I think playoffs. Yeah. What if well, they, they got to spend. Like, for example, say if they fall from two. Well, they got to spend the rest of this regular season learning his system right. to get ready for the playoffs. 
For, that's what they finna do right now. Like, they got to spend the rest of this shit getting ready for the playoffs. They got enough talent mm -hmm. if they don't change anything right now. Dame and, the, and Giannis can get, do what they got to do to get them over the side. That's, if, Chris Milton, if they don't make any moves, if Chris Milton stay healthy and he's continuing to work on it throughout the season, then I think he can, he's definitely reliable. So don't get me wrong, I like Chris Milton, but if we can get Zach Levine, I would, I would do that. But I just think they're gonna have to use the rest of the, rest of the regular season, like what, getting that down pat. What system? Because I don't know. Whatever it what is, he's playing. If, if 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 Dame didn't like Adrian Griffin's playbook, you think he don't like Doc's? Doc because never had a scoring guard. Just pick and roll shit. Pick and roll, pick and roll with him and Giannis. I'm saying the, the shit with James, like the, the, all that shit, like that from yeah, Philly. James shit, struggled but, under him. He ain't uh, like that shit. When he led the league in assists. But y'all said y'all kept y'all kept throwing that fucking stat at him. Yeah, but he don't like. But you know what I'm saying. And then you see, but you know what I'm saying. James Harden didn't like that shit because you're not letting me do what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Ben Simmons didn't like that shit. You're not letting me do what I want to do. Rondo is a assist guy. Chris Paul is a assist guy. Dame is a score. Well, so if he didn't like Age Griffin, I'm with you. I'm just saying. That, but they he's new and they've been winning. They in second. Fucking best, second best record in the NBA. That's what I'm saying. So, and they made a fucking change. God, so. Yeah, I mean, they gotta win that's, it, man. I mean, a, they gotta win it to me. You number two. But it's a lose. It's a lose lose. It's like Doc. What do you like? This is not a job that I would have. I would have personally took. Because it gets me. It gets me fired. Yeah, but if you was already well, fired, guess what? I mean, but yeah. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, no, I've been fired before. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. It gets it gets to be fired quicker because well, this team is supposed to win the championship. Now, if they do win the championship, he doesn't. He won't get credit for it because this was a championship team. We made this trade for a championship. So you're doing exactly what he was on schedule to do. So you don't get credit for this. Your credit comes next year. Right, so you win a championship this year. Yeah, everyone's gonna cheer, but it's what are you gonna do next year? Because that's when your time ticks, right? And then if you don't win it this year, they're gonna like, yo, we bring you in here to. So, so most likely, three-year job. So there are reports that uh, it's a three-year, it's a th no different than Phil. It's a three-year job. So there are reports that uh, during the hiring process, Nick Nurse kind of emerged as one of the top candidates. Giannis wasn't feeling Nurse decided to go with Griffin. But to your point, you're trying to win a championship, have a championship-level coach. Do you entrust a rookie head coach to do that with no coaching experience in the postseason? You feel, you're, I'm just saying from the jump, did the same a little... You're not, feeling, you're not feeling Nick Nurse? I mean, did you... Do you know his plays? Do you know... Like what I'm saying, you're making decisions on stuff that is more emotional than anything. I want, I want Griffin because I want my, my friend. Versus a coach that's trying to win, so. Yeah, like, why would you get a rookie coach if you're trying to win a championship, too? It just seems a little unclear what Giannis wants at this point. But you, uh, yeah, it's. it's championship, it, but like, like, everyone wants a championship, so. Yeah. Like, you know, like, why would you go get a rookie coach, though, if you want to win a championship? To this is, wait, this is first year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he just Didn't got they hire him before yeah, he they got, got Dame? He, he just got hired in. Yes, his first year. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he just but got before Dame, right? Yeah, he was hired before yeah. Dame. Yeah, so they like kind of flipped the expectations on him, and I think that's unfair. Huh? Right? But the expectations. I mean, just, you always yeah. want to win, right? The expectation always win a championship, but they weren't expecting to be able to make that trade happen with Dame. So if Dame gets here, the expectations shift a little bit for a rookie coach, and yeah. now he's fired. But yeah, but that Bucks team number one in the East last year, as constructed. If Giannis gets hurt in the first round, they lose to the Heat. I think, you know, Brandon, you're you, you more clear on this, but there was an expectation coming into the season, regardless of whatever oh, yeah. that roster, that it was yeah. still champ this oh, yeah. championship, championship level year, roster. For sure. yeah. Now Dame pops up like, oh, now we are. Now we are definitely. For certain that yeah. we're going to. Yeah. Yeah. 30, they were 30, you gotta, 33 and what? But then you got. 30 and 13 right now, I believe. You got to take, but okay, they second in the East, and they just got <laughs> the second best record in the NBA, tied for the second best record in the NBA, right? Boston definitely got better. Yes, yes. Definitely got better. Yes. We all can, mm -hmm. they fucking got better. It just, it just, yeah, I really want to know what, like, it just can't be that dang, we, didn't, yeah. we unhappy with the system yeah. or I'm not getting the ball enough or I'm not getting the ball where I need it. It got to be, it's just that, I'm not rolling with that shit. I never, I'm I think not, it's ego. I, I'm not rolling I mean, that, with that. that too, but I never <laughs> Who, Who's ego? 
the players. I mean, the pl- I mean shit. Like the I both. mean, the players are both, kind of. I mean, yeah. it's different. Like when you used to every night getting it, getting the ball, and now you got to. Man, sometimes you got to prove a motherfucking point. As a coach, motherfuckers over here crying about they should be playing. Oh, really? Uh, ho- hold on, time out. You, 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 sit. You, go in there. Go. Run the offense the way you like it. Watch this shit, y'all. Watch a motherfucker fail. And then now sit your ass over here like I told your and ass. They're gonna here. fire the coach. But that you can. They're gonna fire the coach. The coach ain't really got to. You can fire it no. anyway. You're 30 and 13, right? You want all the shots? Oh, then, then call your play every single time. Let's see how this work out. Let's see how it work out. Like sometimes like, as coaches, you gotta. Like, we don't know your vision. We can only see ours. So uh, so someone has to prove their point. And if you're not willing to, then the players is. Right. 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 You know, if I think this motherfucker ain't gonna get the ball and I don't, I don't wanna pass it down there, then me and you gonna bump anyway. So, so I'm like, all right, watch this. Look at that, fumble hands. <laughs> uh-huh, look, 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 look. There you go. <laughs> right? That's, that's gonna end up happening. Right? So, you know, as a coach, sometimes, you know, when you feel like you lose in the locker room, you gotta, you, you gotta say, all right, we're gonna do it y'all way. Let's, let's see how this works. Okay, you talked about Celtics getting better, obviously Adam Porzingis, but the Bucks helped that. Obviously, sending Drew, yeah. the part I deal with the Blazers, Joe Cronin, mastermind. Yeah, no, the Blazers are gonna be ass. So here, we'll go ahead and send Drew back to the east of Boston. Now what y'all gonna do? Yeah, hey, hey it's, it's part of doing business, man. <laughs> well, yeah, you, the game is the game, as they decisions say. Decisions you make. Sometimes they come back to bite you in your ass, man. <laughs> immediately. Like, yeah, karma is right away. Sometimes karma is immediately. Mm-hmm. Like, it's instantly. And in this case... So we talked about the Bucks' defensive issues, but Gil, as you pointed out, scoring more points per game, I think their, their, net, their net rating... It's plus, yeah. It has increased, but is that more of a concern now? And what moves should they look to make to strengthen the defensive side of the ball if they're going to make one? It don't make sense. From last year to this year, they're plus two. So they're two points better all around, defense and offense. They're two points better than they were last year. So 116, they're giving up 113. They're giving up 119, but they're scoring 125. Right? You're, you're better. Okay. All right? That's how you're supposed to look at it. You don't supposed to look at, oh, you're giving up 119? Yeah, motherfuckers, but I'm scoring, I'm scoring a lot more. Regular season though, when playoffs hit now, you have that same expectation. Well, we we can't we can only go by when we see I'm just, the playoffs. I'm just, you know, but right now they're a better team overall than they were last year. That's what the numbers say. And is Giannis pushing for Griffin, uh, then getting him fired, a setback for the player empowerment crowd? Everybody want to get in there. So is Giannis pushing for Griffin, then getting him fired halfway through the season, a setback for the player empowerment crowd? Everybody wants to be. The GM nowadays. Be careful. <laughs> it's not for everybody. Be, be careful. Not everybody is good at that. Be careful doing that. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. The Bucks gotta. The Bucks gotta win it. Like in these next two years, if they don't, it's they ain't. It, it's 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 a failure, to me. And then you could look to start moving pieces again, at this point. So I mean, to me, I think they gotta win it this year or next year. And we got some breaking news. Uh, Austin Rivers just signed with the Bucks. No, it's fucking trash. <laughs> J Vision in the chat. Shout out, legendary <laughs> comment. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, <laughs> best, sure. best read. Like, that ain't horrible. I was gonna be. I mean, damn, damn, man. It ain't they, about the they, players. It's about that coaching staff. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with that coaching staff in mind, uh, <laughs> Doc has shown that he can win a chip with a supremely talented team. That that is a fact. He's also shown that he can trick off chips. With talented team. More trick off than he does win. Now, the amount of power he has retained from that one championship is insane. They act like it's a dynasty. (laughs) No, man. Okay, please. This is Lexi's arena. So I've been a part. So I've been a part of a coaching. So when my. my, Shit, my my first year in Denver, we had three coaches. (laughs) Damn. In one year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, that shit was a clusterfuck. Oh, when I first got the way Jeff Bisdelic. Like, it's just... I don't even know who that is. Wasn't go, like, I, I wondered how he had the job before I got... Like, when I got there, and I saw how the shit was, and I was, I was questioning, like, yo, how the fuck... Yo, them niggas was wild, dog. 
Mm-hmm. When I when I got to Denver in 2000, them young, young boys, their team was fucking out of control. <laughs> like, couldn't imagine shit that was going on when I got there. And shit that I was hearing that was going on the year before. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers is crazy, man. <laughs> like, for me to come in thinking, like, I'm thinking I'm crazy. <laughs> like, right. I'm wild and with certain to a certain degree, like there's a certain shit I'm not gonna do. But had him, he started the year, they fired him. We had Michael Cooper briefly. Cooper Loop. Michael Cooper, shout out Michael Cooper. High Sox. Uh, yeah. First in- <laughs> <He's> in- <laughs> First in- <laughs> If it is to be, it's up to me. Shout out Coop Camp. Coop by talking about <laughs> I don't want, yeah. He got fired quick. As, we, we get it. One of my heroes. No, but, but it's. Whatever one of my heroes. Was, it got fired quick. Just yeah, lied, it, but, just it, but, but to get the job, it was like what you be keep saying, Joe, like it's that shit going on. And then, <laughs> and then they brought in the fuck dude, um, <laughs> George Carl. Or Hey Carl. Right? Mm-hmm. But we didn't, so to the staff, right? In this situation with, because we was early mm-hmm. in the season, like they fired Jeff Bedelli early. And then Coop took over for like 10 games. Dang. Oh, it was quick. Mm-hmm. And then we were like three and seven. Mm-hmm. They were like, shit, who available? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Yo. So, but they kept the staff that we are because there was no, no turnover right away. So, but George brought, eventually brought somebody in that he, his people. Do Doc bring like his other people in yeah. right now? So do everybody go with Adrian Griffin? At this particular point, even though they thirty, like like is that part of this gig right now? That uh, everybody out, which is yeah. That's I'm just wondering. Like, but you kept the same assistants with that. Yeah, because it was quick. Okay. Like, it, like I said, we didn't. Have, it wasn't, but as players, how are you looking at? at, at like, did you? <laughs> it all depends on money. <laughs> Shit, I mean. <laughs> No, it, I ain't even trying to really form no relationship with you, Don. It, 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 it all that. depends on contracts, right? You go, you have, that means you have to hurry up and sign all the assistants he wants. Yeah. And, if and, they're and, available, right? Yeah. Imagine a lot. They are. Oh, they are. Fucking boy. <laughs> they are. They're available. They said, they all available. Every single one of the motherfuckers. I'm available too. Y'all saw my. He was the only one doing TV. Yeah, yeah he was, he was, he was the only one working. Hey, 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 y'all. I'm, I'm on standby. Yeah, I'm, we go. Hey, we back a bag. Back a bag. Back in the building. Give us a th- three more motherfucking years. <laughs> then we're gonna look for our next job. <laughs> they can hire me. So it's crazy, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm just trying Y'all keep rotating I these think coaches, about that. man. Y'all keep rotating. Is there any more coaching candidates out? I mean it's like Nate McMillan. Dan Tony. No, man. Stop these motherfucking right. coaches, man. I would have went with goddamn Tony. Just go get a whole new breed of new coaches. Like, like give somebody else a, a shot to be terrible. Yo, I got a question. Yo, <laughs> shit. I got a question. Who Sam Cassell piss off? Nobody. He just don't want to be a head coach. Nah, Doc. He Doc assistant. But I'm saying he got a job right now though. Where you working at? Ain't in Boston. Oh let me, shit. Let me let me use Mark Google. Never He's an assistant in Boston, if I'm not mistaken. Oh uh, shit, Doc in trouble. Right? <laughs> oh, if he's in Boston? Yeah. Doc in trouble, boy. If I'm not mistaken. No, he's in Boston right now. He's an assistant yeah, so, in Boston. So, so, so next, therefore. It, ne- next year, he's going to be in Milwaukee. Brought him in the back of Missoula. And that, so, therefore, like I'm saying, who, who's, why, why, does Sam not want to be a head coach? I don't think, uh, Sam is that type of personality. Is that his personality? personality? Yeah, his personality. Yeah. I think he likes being the assistant. I got you. But maybe, maybe over time, like right now, he's in change. But I know when I played and he was the assistant coach, he wanted it. He liked being an assistant. Okay, I, I can understand. But that's what I said. Maybe now he might. I can understand that. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I would have got Dan Tony. What the fuck guard they got? I don't know, man. Oh, they they write know. it to their favor. No, it don't. I mean, they must score. Right, right. So let's get up in now. He need that. Uh, let's get up. In, I mean, because if we're not gonna get any defenders and we panicking like this, then. Might as well just, and we're trying to outscore. Yeah, more possessions in the game. Let's just keep getting possessions. If if we're going to do it like that. I'm with you. I I feel. If we're we're just going to take away defense and forget it, then all right, well, then let's try to get more possessions. So, So, like we said, Doc can can win chips with, can win a chip with a supremely talented team, can also trick off chips with talented teams, has the record for most blown 3 1 leads in league history. Mm-hmm. Also, 6 and 10 in game sevens, which is the most losses. 
for a coach in league history. But having said that, considering Doc's questionable resume, if Giannis wins a title with Doc Rivers, should he be in the GOAT conversation? Who be in the GOAT what conversation? For Giannis, what? elevating Doc to, to great heights. The shaking goat? that stigma. The GOAT of what? Coaching? The, no, Giannis. Giannis. Oh, Giannis. Not Doc. Nobody's oh, the GOAT. Man. Let's stop it, man. <laughs> The, bait, the fuck, Joe? The goat. Side with that bullshit, man. This is Lexi's arena. I'll do what I want. Look, just like I told y'all in the chat. Lexi, get you your can't guy. Be mentioned, you can't be mentioned in the GOAT conversation unless they give you a farewell tour. So y- Giannis not getting a farewell tour? Dude, no, this nigga be, years... Of, I don't know. All I'm saying it. is... This fucking boy 15 I'm, I'm years away from like, retiring. You can't get y'all a farewell t- tour. That means, like, you're not, you're not that important to the game. The Nats is going to get one too with him. <laughs> It's both of ours. This man, 15 years away from retiring. Y'all talking about GOAT conversation. <laughs> one more title. He got fucking one. If he can elevate Doc and shake the Doc stigma, turn Doc into an elite Doc, NBA head coach. He, he needs two more, more. He needs two, three are... more MVPs, a couple more championships, man. Let's just, the, just the to even get, to get just, him, a, just a fight for yeah. number two. Just, just to get on the fucking page. <laughs> just to get Doc back in the mix. Like on the on the page. You no, know what I'm saying is just just let's just think about it. If Kobe or LeBron is two and three, right? No matter how you want to flip it. Who the fuck is coming? <laughs> Who the fuck is coming in this generation that's going to compete with their resume to even get in front of them? <laughs> Dude. Right? To be in the con- let's what when we talk about a conversation, yeah. right? If Kobe and LeBron is going to be two and three, right? And people... What resume do you think you got to have to it's just so surpass LeBron? Right. What, what do you, 50,000 points? <laughs> six, I mean, what do you, right. like, come on. Six championships. Six championships. Lead, like, you, you have to have a hell of a resume. Six league MVP. <laughs> like, I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Just to get. In just the to same get, year. Just to get Autumn closer. Like, you got to do what Mike did. <laughs> that's what I'm yeah, yeah, you got to do what it is. Yeah. MV, regular season MVP, Pants, finals titles, MVP. Like, t- you got like. Over the years. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, you got to like, so stop no, basketball for you. Um, like, that's what I'm saying. So let's basketball. just stop with the, 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 so the, the goat. goat. Like, there's no... stop basketball. Okay, this is Lexi's Let's just Lexi's name it some other shit. Let's just name it some other shit. You know, kind of like how they did with the Max, right? The Super Max. The there's a Super Max, Max right? You know, uh, I'm a Max player. Yeah. That's congratulations, motherfucker. Yeah. There's a whole nother category. Yeah. And we, <laughs> there's another fucking category. And we will talk about that in a second. <laughs> but I'm just going to read y'all this quote real quick. So the Bucks you believe... Mean, but uh... The Bucks believe River's history of coaching star tandems makes him uniquely suited to maximize Giannis and Damian Lillard. Wait, who, wait, say that fucking again? Yeah. I'm sorry. The Bucks believe Rivers' history of coaching star tandems makes him uniquely suited to maximizing Giannis and James. So it must have been an ego thing for sure. That means, ma- that means managing. Not managing success, them. just history. Not, not, just, just <laughs> managing them, keeping them happy. Is that, that's what that sounds like. Do what you want. You want that's what you put on his resume. Wait, listen, man. It's I a new era. It's a new era in Milwaukee, man. So we'll Which see. Which tandems? We'll that- see. It's either going to go up or it's going to go down. I'm just saying, you know, his history on tandems. Which, who? Because, yeah, Embiid and Harden were not very happy. See, uh-huh. it, can, it, it can only go one way. He does have a history, though. Up or down. History of... I'm saying he had 20 Hall of Famers. It, again, didn't say success, but just said history. Yeah, the word is very important. So 20 that's, plus... That's he successful. had the most talent in NBA history he's uncoached. Had on the bench. And you, he got one championship out of it. Him so, and the other guy I played for. George Carl? How many, how many Hall of Famers he? I'm mm-hmm. saying just talent. Oh, I'm like you say. No, like, oh, I was, I was just saying Hall of Famers, and when you start adding just pure talent, this <laughs> nigga here, he wanted to just start adding the That's extra I mean. talent. Every, everybody that he's coached, huh? Everybody that the man has coached. But Doc Rivers also good at Absolutely. Excel, Microsoft Office, Photoshop, clean driving record. This fool's <laughs> resume. <laughs> Well, let's keep this thing moving. It's his resume. Yeah, he put it on the resume. I coached him. I didn't say anything. I'm just saying I did it. Shit. I didn't say I was good, man. Yeah, our, our, <laughs> Kenny and our producers wanted to give you a fun fact. Uh, George Carl lost in the first round of the playoffs 14 times. So. Dang. I just, you know. Damn. Doc, I bet you. <laughs> Just in case, you know. Come on, Doc. It ever goes down. Come on, Doc. You have that information. Like, nigga, I can't wait till June, bro. Oh, no, just... We gonna, just go we, down the, we're going to play go, this back. Just from Seattle to Milwaukee to, uh, like, just go down the list. Oh, if his, oh, Brand, just, Brand, where, are we, where are we going to be like, in Just June? the top. Huh? Just think about where, Seattle. Where are we going to be Oh, we're going to be in Milwaukee. But where are we going to be doing in Milwaukee? Are, are we going to be celebrating NBA Finals basketball there, or are we going to be at a sports first bar all, watching? First of all, we're going to do a live show. 
gonna take y'all to Elsis Carnivores. We're gonna do a live show somewhere, and we're gonna be celebrating. But are we gonna be watching the Celtics? <laughs> yeah, y'all remember the Nuggets in the fight. Y'all remember the the? Uh, we might want to go early just so we can get. Let's do it. Y'all remember the? Y'all remember the finals? Y'all remember the Hawks series? Yeah. You remember? You remember the Hawks series? Yeah. You remember the Hawks series? You remember the, the, the Hawks series Which where one? Doc was coaching? Uh, Trey Young then when he was playing against Trey Young then. Remember he lost to them? And beat? Remember he let that, the thing was a Caucasian that came and had 20 points? That offset the, had 20 points. <laughs> 20. Caucasians are good at basketball. Right, because he kept, uh, he kept uh, Curry in. Yeah, but you know, Kevin Herter? Huh? You know one thing about What's the name? Kayvon, Kevin Herter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kevin came he, out there and yeah. burned him like, what? Yo, you know, one thing about the past, we learn from it. You know, we <laughs> learn from it. <laughs> like I said, he's man to man. He got a chance to prove everybody wrong. He got a chance to prove everybody wrong. Maybe yeah. he'd been at yeah. home, yeah. he'd been on TV watching, like, yeah. shit, I'm, really I'm going yeah. to run that. Ooh, I'm going to run the shit out of these plays. Listen, that I, hey, I'm going to run that. You know, put going home, putting shit in the... Maybe, you know, maybe never, it's he that. He never did commentate in between his jobs before, so maybe... Exactly. Sure. Maybe he was at home maybe watching Justin Indiana. Wins he wins ain't never played with a... Play, he ain't never coached a player like Giannis. Giannis! Facts. And then he got a point guard, and he ain't never coached a point guard like... Facts. Like that. Like means he ain't got no plays for neither two of them. <laughs> 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 he ain't got a play for you. He got a chance to prove everybody wrong. Man. He do. He do. He, do. he do. He do. He does. He does have, have a chance to prove everybody wrong. Yep. Let yeah, a naysayer, naysayer go. go. Yep. Yeah. Look, we'll be waiting. <laughs> naysayer. Yeah, I'm a naysayer. For sure. All right, let's keep moving. Sure. I'll be the first one to be like, all right, Doc, you done, you done got it. We're going to see next year, though, Doc. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for the interaction in the, the win lobby at Summer League when you and Doc see each other. What's the going on? win lobby. I mean, shit, he should be coaching Summer League. But let's... let's <laughs> God damn. damn. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the wild finish in the Blazers-Thunder game on Tuesday. Oh, shit. So, late in the game with the Blazers, leading by one. Brogdon was being trapped near the sideline. Uh, Blazers coach Chauncey Bill attempted to call a timeout. It's called a double dribble. Uh, Bill was given two texts, booted from the game. Are you touching? First for making contact with the rep, according yeah, to uh, Bill Kennedy. <laughs> and second for being too turned up <laughs> on the Lord's Tuesday. <coughs> so Thunder seized the opportunity, uh, and Jalen Williams put the team on his back and did this. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting. There it is. Jalen Williams. Veers left. Pulls up, game time. Oh. <laughs> Bucket and Anthony Simons grew. Uh, in the after, wait, uh, so they called the jump ball, right? Called double dribble. Oh, they called the double dribble. While he was calling timeout, two texts. Hit the showers. He missed one, made one. Can you, can we go back to that double dribble? Just, he I'm sorry. One, made Let's one. just go. Just, I just feel like refs need to have a sense uh, of other awareness one, and other moments video. that maybe a coach is trying to call the timeout, so I should probably pay one see, of us thing, need to pay look, look at, see, Hold on, but, but let's, 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 see, this is what I'm talking about right here. So let's stop it right here from the beginning, right? Yeah. It was, yeah. Let's, let's look at the, yeah, let's go to this one then. Let's look at the other one. Paul, okay, right there. Oh, he right, go back. A little late. Hold on. The ref not even looking at Chelsea. He should have no, called no, no, timeout no. Right, here, right, right before. Here. Okay, right now go forward a little bit. Look where the ref is, right? Now. Hmm. Who was the double dribble on? I'm See, the ref, didn't look at the, the ref didn't look at the double dribble. He's looking at the coach called double dribble. He don't know the, from his he angle, his, behind, his, his back is behind the play, so he don't know if the ball was actually hit. Because if both but players he still put their hands Chauncey on the ball. Can we, can we go back a little bit? He can't see Chauncey. can hear him, though. You can hear I mean, even, it. it might be loud or something, but so what I'm saying is, he go back a little bit, right? But this coach on the number thir This is him. number 30's play. You don't know if... Yeah. 30? So now go. Let's see when he called timeout. It looks like he's yelling it there right before now. he makes the 30 ref. Yeah. Okay, so right now. So timeout before the ball. Like this, what, see, he didn't even call nothing. Look, look, look. His whistle's so late on this. Ah. But let's go back and look at the play, though, on the game winner. The game, can we pull up the game winner, please, Paolo? And there we stop go. Stop it now. Stop, stop. 
Jeremy Grant beat already. Because he's anticipating the screen coming right now. Mm -hmm. like he's guessing that the screen is going to come. Already. He's fucking beat. Yep. The boy wants to go left. Like, if you read shit, scouting report, it's going to fucking tell you that this boy wants to go left, he's going to pull up. Like, let's, let's go there. All right, run it. Guessing. Get, look. Yep. Why are you on that side? And he goes to... No the screen, though. There was no yep. screen. That's a good play call. There was no screen. Stay with your man. Stay with your goddamn man. Square him up. All right, that's... Why didn't that. double... Like, you... Why would... Mm. What's up? Why wouldn't you what? You know that's only a couple seconds left. Why wouldn't you just stay with the ball? With him? Well, he was, he was expecting he was anticipating the, screen. the screen. He was trying to get a switch. He was trying to... You're trying to get switch. the switch. But he ghosted it. Yeah, go back. Yeah, already look. on the side. Because... Yeah, so he... Because they got him all what messed up. What the center they both got to say anything? So they no. said something. So those yeah. two... Right. Oh, they look, that's bad defense. One... That's a hor they're horrible they're fucking defense. Two. No, that is they messed up the down screen was... with Chet and uh, SGA. What I'm saying is... Because if Jeremy Grant on, he probably don't get this off because Jeremy Grant is taller. No, no, no. Switch. Yeah, go back. I'm going to show you. This This was the best defense they could have did because... who? What's this guard right here? Who? The SGA right there? No, the yeah. the defense. Simons. Anthony Simons? Simons. He shouldn't even be here. No. Remember, no, no. he switched, so he, he should be with Holcomb. With absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. He's, so technically, yeah. he's out of this play. He's supposed to be out of the play, absolutely. So this is, the fact that he actually stayed yeah. is the he's, reason yeah. for the jump shot, or this would have been the motherfucking layup. Yeah. What? But my thing is, so if, if Jeremy Grant just stays on him, he it's a tougher it shot. Yeah. Because Jeremy Grant is taller. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, 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 but this... Now go. Grant was Jeremy, looking for the switch the entire Grant is, Grant is switching he, with the number 34. Supposed to be. Yeah, so he well, Simon is switch. Yeah, so Simons is the one who he actually stops it. this play. Yeah. He wouldn't even be here. This was be this a this a dunk. Yeah. yeah. I'm for but, sure. from looking from for he was beat from the beginning. Yeah. Is what I'm my looking point is. Switch. Because he's looking for the switch from the beginning. Which is why that ghost screen is, Absolutely. Like, is so good. Yeah, this is, like, Anthony Simons is the one he who stopped it. it. Yeah, he Didn't saved it by just like. being stupid. Well, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> being dumb, dumb. <laughs> just right, being dumb. Just being dumb. Grant still didn't stay with the ball, which is so crazy. And he ain't guarding nobody. Like, what are you doing? I, I, I hate, would send two I, to okay, the ball. The one thing I hate about the referees on this instance is he's trying to call a timeout. You don't give it to him, right? But you give him a technical in the middle of a one-point game? The fuck is wrong with you? And you know the Blazers need yeah, a win. Thank you. They're I up one. You just tied the game right there. Boom, and technical. And then kicked him out. Right, on a double dribble. So you technical, you tied the game. You called a double dribble. Instead of being a turnover, right? Turnover, hey, sh shut up. I, I, I missed it. Get the fuck on, right? It's their ball. You give them a technical that ties the game, and they get the ball back, right? And then... The other dude who ain't even a part of this conversation, you give him another tech mm -hmm. to kick him out. So now, technically, in theory, they go up one. So they go from down one to up one now with the ball. So if there was, now you will force this team, instead of playing defense, to have to foul. And that's, like, where is the, where is the human behavior here? Where is... Where's the read the room? Yeah, like, come on, like, refs. Read the room. Like, yeah, yeah, be honest. Like, yo, it's hey, 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 calm like, down. Imagine Everybody they went into overtime. Now they don't have they have their head coach. Like, yeah. stupid. Like, it's like, I'm, like, calm down. Hey, wait, we're all, woof. Yeah. Relax. Get the fuck back. I missed it. My bad. I'm, the, the, the shit is loud. I'm looking at the play, and I missed what you were calling. My bad. The intensity. I'm not going to give you a fucking technical. And I, I, we won this game. The referees did this. Like, we won. Right, we 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 gave them two chances at the at points and gave them the ball. I can't do that. That's just, that. Those are those are things you just can't do as referees. Yeah, they um they challenged the game. So Portland did. Yeah, they challenged they, it. Yeah, they protested the game. So oh, what what, what, what happened? Out? I don't know yet. That they just did it. Yeah, nothing. So. Probably. I mean, nothing. I remember mean, what happened. Yeah, they, give, like, they give them. They give it back. I don't know the league. They gonna replay it. it. The league never overturns the shit. No way. Replay so. the last. No, didn't they seconds? do something before where they they, they someone had to play it. like a last like they three acknowledge minutes. It. Was Shaq, a situation with Shaq years ago. They acknowledge it, but they nothing they fucking can do. It's, not, it's happened a few. The refs get penalized for this. If if yeah. they do, we don't they find do. out. They do, but we don't find out. We don't know. Like some of them can't go like do playoff games. They they can't go to certain levels of. That's why we see the same jackoffs in the uh, finals. <laughs> so. <laughs>
<laughs> on the subject of questionable officiating, uh, last, the last two minute report came out for the Wolves Hornets game. There were 10 missed incorrect calls. 10? 10. <laughs> missed or incorrect calls. In the last two minutes. In the last two, in the last two, in the last two minutes. Yeah. One of them was that foul on Cat at the end. Because he got fouled three times. That's three. <laughs> right there. He got fouled on a few of his drives at the so, end. Of the game. Does the last two minute report do anything for you guys no, after the fact? No. Except piss you off. Do your job right. If, when you do in the job. In reality. And so therefore, let's damn the last two minutes. Tell me how many of these motherfuckers missed for the 48. <laughs> yeah. Give me the 48 minute Give me report. the 48 minute report. Oh, uh, I think I Googled that 85. <laughs> a night average? Mm -hmm. So there's someone that has a job <laughs> in the league office that goes through the games and sees how many mistakes the refs made. Yeah, they critiquing them, but they ain't doing shit about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it was it was it's 80, it's it's 80, so 85, probably about 85 missed calls right. from the rules that they make. Now I'm about, think about it. If there's 15 players. Right, how many are active? 12? 15. Oh, all 15 are active now? Shit, everybody active, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> niggas hey, remember, just, it's niggas just be hurt. Remember 12 before yeah, when you had three on hurt. IR? <laughs> niggas just be hurt. Right, so you got, you got a total of 90 fouls that can be given, right? So if they're missing 80, 85 just fouls alone. Oh, that's fouls. That's just fouls. Oh, I thought I'm talking about oh. call. Fouls. No, they so so, what, ends, so what ends up happening is they, they have to stay. They always missing travels. They have to stay within, like, think about it. If we call every foul that's supposed to be a foul, there's no games. Yeah. So that means they have to stay within reason, which is, what, 35 to 50. Yeah. So they can only really, in theory, call about 30 something to 50 yeah, foul calls. Yeah, because then it's going to start like affecting 55. the game. Yeah, so think about how many calls that we. So now when you're talking about, like, uh, yeah, they flopping. Yeah, because there's 85 calls that they should be calling, but they can't. So the ones I do get fouled, motherfucker, I got to pretend I got it. Ah! What happened? He, he pinched me. <laughs> <laughs> he pinched me, bro. Like, I got to sell this goddamn fucking 35. Gotta, I strong win. Do they keep that in mind, do you think? The refs? For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I to. feel like when you have a close game, you should have they, a They're looking at the shit each quarter. Of, I mean, each quarter. At, at halftime, they going them up how many fouls we call. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, it's lopsided. Ooh, so now at the end of the game, okay. when this happens with Cat, they're like, oh, we use all our fouls yeah, we, for yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. So you know we be out there, motherfucker. Oh, they're trying to even it up. <laughs> yep, we yeah. said that we, shit. We, they're trying to even it up. They hate that shit. But then sometimes, oh, they hate it. But then they don't even it up a lot of times. So, like, what, how do you explain that? But, like, they, they do the janky shit, though, where they'll call fouls later. Absolutely. The and then we say it. Oh, okay. Like, they make some fouls. They make some yeah, fouls. Yeah, they fouls. They make it look even. Because you'll wonder, like, what the fuck? They, let's be six seconds on the clock. <laughs> somebody will drive to the basket and they'll call foul. You'll be like, really? Yeah. <laughs> now you wonder. Then you wonder, why? like, y'all wonder why. Like, yeah, <laughs> you got a quota to meet out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Refs, man. Stop doing the last two minute report. It's just like little, like I'm. It's just little things, like the cat one, right? You have to call that. I'm because they're down, right? You're down, and this does affect it. That's a foul, right? Then it was like, oh, Lonzo Ball drove. I mean, Lamelo Ball drove and got fouled. He got fouled too. Foul, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. It's the fifty fifty ones that. Like, if I got a, like, was that a foul or not, that's the one you don't call. Absolutely. You don't call the one that we both go up and he hit the ball, but he probably hit the elbow at the end and felt like, okay, damn. But if it's a, okay, that's a foul, call it. And then that's, and, what, and this is the fucked up part of the game, right? You wonder why certain guys don't, certain guys don't get calls. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not calling calls for certain rookies. Like, you got to have a name. Like, and people weren't like, like, you tell the real, come on, man, don't do that to, to the young boy. <laughs> do that to the young like, he boy. got fucking hammered going to the basket. You didn't blow that mug. Like, come on, dog. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck them rookies up, Yeah, boy. and you wonder why, like, certain guys that don't play a lot of minutes and so they got to say it. They gotta say them fucking calls for MB. Yeah. Right? No, did I? No. Sure. Y'all think it's no, 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 serious, man. Uh, I, no, I, I can't waste that on you. I can't waste that on you. <laughs> yeah. I definitely, this motherfucker's shooting 15 tonight. Yeah, so shit. You, you, you done drove, your sorry ass done drove three times, man. I'm not giving you those fouls, <laughs> man. Shit, make a bar. And you over there, like, coach is like, yo, stop driving. Bitch, I've been fouled three times. Yeah. That should be six points. I should have six free throws, coach. Now I got to sit on the bench because you don't want to blow your whistle. <laughs>
So, speaking of the Blazers, uh, we got to talk a little bit about DeAndre Aiden. Please do. Offer some interesting <laughs> comments to Mark Medina of Basketball Intelligence saying, I got nothing to prove in this league. I'm a max player, and I'll continue to be a max player. Uh, you never want to knock another man for being confident in themselves, uh, but these comments come at a very interesting point in Aiden's career. So after getting traded by the Suns this offseason, Aiden is averaging a career low 12.8 points per game. Uh, he signed a four-year, $133 million deal with the Suns in the summer of 2022, matching the Pacers' offer sheet uh, when Aiden was a restricted free agent. So last three games, he's averaging uh, 7.7 points, 6.3 rebounds, one assist, including a 5.7 rebound performance against the Thunder in 27 minutes on Tuesday. But for his career, Aiden averages 16 and 10. So we're going to play a little game of facts or cap. DeAndre Aiden saying he's a max player. Facts or cap? Lexi, this is your arena. I already know how I feel about it. This is Lexi's arena. I ain't saying no more about that man. (laughs) Can we? I I, I didn't hear it. What you you had to say? Nope. I'm not talking about that. Why not? What happened? Can you bless us with a simple effect or a No, I, t- I talked about it right on this show. I wasn't so, here. During the playoffs. Mm. I wasn't here. So I'm going to pencil, mm-hmm. oh, pencil you in. I'm going to pencil you in. They went here. crazy on Twitter, and I don't want, his, I don't I want that to here. happen again. Well, this part of the show, God damn it. This is Lexi's <laughs> arena. <laughs> hey, no. is anybody about fantasy? Whoa, whoa. Listen, because this is the wrong this, show to be trying no, to trying to be everybody goddamn friend, Lexi Brown. I felt very bad about that clip going crazy everywhere. In the middle of playoffs. What's part of the show? Were you wrong? No, I wasn't wrong. Okay, so, well, that's all right. All right. No so, matter what right. they say, were you wrong? I, I wasn't here. I will summarize and say, yeah. you are humongous. Why do you play the way that you play? I will interpret that as a cap. Yes. Okay. cut. That's all I will say about him. Gil, former namesake Fact. of Leslie's Arena. He's a max so player. So he's a max player. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why do you feel that way? Because that's what he signed. <laughs> No, it's levels. It's huh? levels. No, like you said, it's yeah, levels. Remember, it's Max is... Max ain't nothing. No. Max is our generation's mid-level. Yeah. So, <laughs> no. so he's a fucking mid-level player. Everybody gives him Max. That was reworded to Max, and then the stars are super Max. Yeah. Okay. All right? So the stars are super Max, and then the mid-level guys now, we're gonna, they're, they're called Max players now. Yeah. Everybody gets a trophy, good. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. you know, yeah. So, yeah, he's, he's Max. I agree, yeah. So you say way. facts. Yeah, facts. He's a, Uh-oh. Yeah, he max. <laughs> well, like, he's That's max. it. Yeah. So you think that was his logic when he said that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. Make he's, sure that. No, he, he thought Dude. he was talking about, like, the jumbo shit. You know what I mean? That, that. So, but... Okay. Me. He's the league. We have to take, we have to take a man of what he said. Right, you know, it's like so the NBA, right? That's super max, and then there's D league. So if he said I'm a super max player, then, then would your fact? Oh, he should be drug tested. Okay. If, oh, we, if he said that, okay. He should be drug tested. Yeah. Now let's move on. He probably got something yeah. in his too. No, I just too. we got the determining <laughs> vote right here. Nah, it ain't. Yeah, they signed him for it. Absolutely, like Gil said, he, he asked for it. They had to give the money to somebody, so they gave it to him. <laughs> right. That doesn't sound. No, nah, fuck out. Yeah, this, I, this is mentality. Like, okay. teams don't get rid of people they can use. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. They just fucking don't. For your ability, like Lexi, to your size, you're supposed to be, like, you can be a dominant big in this league if you, if you gave a fuck. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a cat. Like, I don't, I'm not, <laughs> rolling, like, yeah, like, I'm not rolling with, like, yeah. You, Especially the way yeah, they're playing. Yeah, that clip, when, when your guard got to challenge you, like, you turn the ball over and deep book, like, the audio was out there, like, damn, you ain't going to run back, dog? Mm-hmm. Told me everything I need to know already. Like, I saw the way you played in the playoffs. I saw the way you was not showing up for games and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yeah, I saw, I saw that in my mm-hmm. own two eyes. And then for me to hear audio of somebody on your team challenge you, like, you turned that bitch over, dog. You ain't go run like so. Nah, I I don't. Yeah, and then the most recent shit, you you iced in and you don't want to go to the fucking game, bro. Like, like find a way. You could have found ice a way. Ice sheet. It's an ice sheet. You heard what I said. I got it up. <laughs> one, of my, one of my high school teammates lives in Portland right now. He goes to every game. He said that motherfucking place was packed. <laughs> the gym was packed. Everybody on the team made it, but you. Ice sheet. <laughs> 
But everybody on Ball the team, boy, baby. Everybody. Fuck you. Cheerleaders, everybody. Uh, come on, bro. Uh, the band. Nigga, yo, yeah. if you got kids, your kids was there. Yeah. <laughs> you have, yeah. come on, man. Hey, they're in the family room and shit. Everybody, your kids and shit in the family room. Eating them snacks and shit. Everybody like, fuck the Andre. <laughs> The like, he, kicked in. Shit, he, ain't, he said he ain't gonna make it, boss. Like, come on, I just don't like. I see. Nah, I don't even know nah, what that means. Not I'm not rolling, man. I, I'm just. I, I, and hold on, but he averaging what this year? 12? 12.8. 12 on that team? On that team? Mm -hmm. That's why they got rid of him in Phoenix. Career I know why they got yeah, rid of him. You can go, homie. Yeah, I know why the fuck they got That's my point, absolutely. <laughs> you can go. And on this team, as they need. I want to say bear down, I just can't. We just, and, Yo, you said you gave him a fax already. That's, that's a, a but, bear you know down in this whole That's all I'm trying to get He's to. He's a cat. Like, on that <laughs> team, you're supposed to be killing. Didn't he get in trouble for PP once before? Didn't he have, didn't he have a messed up P test? Sure. You know, sometimes, yeah, dirty. sometimes oh, things find their way into our urine. Yeah, dirty urine. Big man, sorry. Sometimes things find their way to our PP. You know, you know what we're doing, buddy. All right. Yeah, <laughs> so, okay, uh, DeAndre whatever, said whatever, he's a whatever, Mac player. Whatever, whatever, whatever he's he was trying to do, well, do that. Well, his money, so I'm not going <laughs> to. All I'm saying is For me, this ain't got shit to do with money. But but facts with an asterisk, because he need to figure it out. What? Figure what out? To continue being a it's max player. It's fucking player. too late for that shit. To, to no, get another max. Dude. It's either you no, guys no, what I'm saying is max is, that's, that's, that's mid-level now. Yeah, so he can keep getting a max. Yeah, that's max. It's, that's not the thing. The super max is what you okay. are. Right? That's what that, that player is. So, mm -hmm. like, he's just like him. Like, you, it's half, right? It's half. So, he signed 134, right? Take half. 70-something, right? So when it comes in to our in our era, seventy something. Gonna, yeah, that's what he's worth. All right. So when, when it comes to DeAndre Aiden saying he's a max player, facts. All right. But now follow up for you guys is Aiden saying he has nothing to prove. Facts or cap? Mm. Are you texting him right now? Yeah, I just... Yep, yep, he was 20, yep, he was suspended. 25 games 25 in 2019. 25 games. Hey, whatever you was trying to take, do it. It might help your game. Now, whatever it was, 25 <laughs> games, so obviously it looked like it was what the last nigga got suspended for, 25 games, right? <laughs> just get on this, all right? <laughs> just say, hey, man, listen, you see my numbers? Let me go ahead and do a little bit of this to keep up with the rest of the folks. Yeah, I just feel like he's, he's underachieving now, so... He ha but he has to care about that. And I think people just are expecting more from him, and he's like kind of taking offense to that, which I think mm. is weird, so, because people think you should be playing at a higher level. So is Aiden saying he has nothing to prove, in the opinion of Lexi's arena? Facts or cap? That's facts. I mean, he is who he is. So you're right. You ain't got nothing to prove. Nothing to prove. We don't want you to prove nothing. Okay. Just be you. Can you? Do you feel like Aiden has nothing to prove? Facts. <laughs> I said before, I, certain things come to mind, and. <laughs> Spots and stripes has come to mind. So, okay. yeah. Like to Brandon's point. Um, Facts. It yeah. is what it is, man. Facts. Can we talk about somebody else? Yeah, I mean, no, no, he's proven. He's proven exactly what we yeah. think he is. <laughs> Trash. What's next? <laughs> Trash. Cut the next, braids. Next time. He got braids? Yeah, he's trying to be cool. He trying to look. Next time. Can, can you, are, you are the closest in my vicinity. Uh, Lexi, do you have permission to move on to the next topic in your yeah. arena? Okay. Yes, please. We will. Like you have to talk about somebody else, man. <laughs> Number one pick. I'm gonna just tuck my mic in. Um, I feel so, bad. For, I feel bad for Big Shot, man. You gotta look at that nigga every day, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you how Big Shot is, dog. You gotta, you gotta put him in the game, like. Yeah, like yeah. I know Chauncey, dog. I know Ch Chauncey. Put listen, call. put him in. Chauncey ain't with the bullshit. Chauncey a winner. Chauncey mm -hmm. competitive as nah, fuck. You're right. You're right. Right. Yeah. And for Chauncey to have to pacify that big ass baby over there, man. I know that shit is eating Chauncey insides. Mm -hmm. the coffee. Like, that's Chauncey and that bitch boiling daily. He's sitting in his office with the door closed. <laughs> like, scratching his Big Shot okay. probably drinking right now. He ain't never drunk a day in his life. He probably in that bitch <laughs> drinking now. Man, if he got the bottle under the table. I'm telling you, he probably, yo. <laughs> going into the game. Like, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I got Yo, it. Big Shot <laughs> they probably, driving my, they probably driving my man to drink, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I be I wouldn't be surprised if I see Big Shot this summer and Big yeah, we at the bar and he ordering shots like yeah hey boy what's what you drinking tonight nigga like damn nigga when you start drinking like, yeah when you start drinking ever since I had that motherfucker on my teeth yeah that nigga right there. that's uh, real shit yo I don't mean to put him out there fucking Aaron to follow dog George drove that man a drink mm. 
Uh, Aaron's my teammate at UCLA. Compton, Didn't Compton, Compton, Compton real yeah. Compton nigga. Kendrick yeah. Lamar used to want to be like him. He was a nice dude, right? Hey, he, nice. Aaron, yeah. great, Hooper, dude. great dude. Ferg. Right? Hooper, great dude. Nick Damon Ferg. Harder, hardest working Sorry. dude I've, I've ever seen. Oh, no, this nigga, yo, he did a photo shoot. They, they gave him, like, clothes wear for the photo shoot. And, you know, they give you an option if you want to keep the shit after a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. So there's certain shit you keep. But this nigga wore, kept a collar shirt and had a nigga name on it. And it was Ferg. <laughs> so we started calling the nigga Ferg. <laughs> <laughs> What's, it's fucked up in hoop circles. It could be something that simple. Oh, yeah, it's going to follow you forever. It's going to follow you forever. So if I see forever, him to this day, his name is Ferg. Ferg. <laughs> but shout out Aaron Aflalo. Uh, high level. Yeah, if you draw that man a drink, dog. I, I was in Orlando doing something. We uh, down and he came out and he like, I was like, yo, action. No, I'm lying like we was in the, we in the club. I, he, I saw him in the club and he came to the table and retched for the bottle. And you should have saw, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. He was like, bro, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, and poured a drink and mixed the shit with cranberry. I was like, damn. Man, listen, cranberry? the dudes who walked into the league wasn't drinking and then they become drinkers. <laughs> Ooh, they worse than us. <laughs> nah, I'm serious. Ooh. They work because it, because it, 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 uh, it, 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 it helps them cope. <laughs> yeah. right? You know, like, like if you just drunk for fun, it's yeah. cool. But when you cope drinking, yeah, yeah. that's a different type. Yeah, when you're around the ones who did, it's like, yo, I'm gonna cool off today. Like, I'm not gonna even drink <laughs> on the plane. They drink. Like, I'm gonna yes. behave. It's why when you see a dude squares their whole life and stand, yeah. uh -huh. you know, all the kind of side-eyed you when you were getting your shit cracking. Yeah, and, yeah. and then they glance and fuck it. Like, yeah. Yeah, what? And trying like, to be quiet. Hard anymore, he dog. quiet. Don't live that life. Be around. Like, he good dude. Like, he came around us. Like, we took him in. Yeah. Like, before he started drinking, he went out with us one night. Didn't drink and all that and had a bad game. We told him, no, you can't go out with us no more, dog. Like, we was protecting him. Like, mm -hmm. we was like, nah, this ain't for you. You stay in your room, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can play cards. <laughs> if we're in the hotel, we playing cards, cool. We go outside these walls, nah, because you just, yeah. I see you need your 10 hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got, think guys for the day, like, play cards in the room and all that, like, on the road? Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. Nah, yeah. Pokemon, they probably. Do. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, well, I know my son didn't seem okay. like that. He, he's, a, yeah, that was like, he's a gambler. Yeah. I know when we was in the league, like team stuff was big. Yeah, absolutely. I was just that, I, I, I know everybody make a lot more nah, money not, now. Yeah, nah, yeah. Because okay. they don't got nothing else but themselves. No, but how, how big was that? Those bonding Boo moments Ray for y'all, just as teams. Uh, yeah. Boo Ray, Ray on the plane. Oh, them Boo Ray games are. That's out, everything. Right that's Texas Ray. hold them. I that's like who Texas you, hold them. That's who you identify with. They they're going. Yeah, most they're, of the players is going through the same exact thing you're going through. Yeah. Women problem, kids problem, friend problem, mm -hmm. parents problem. Did you bond with the people who had the most? Shit going on in their life like you, is that the most relatable? No, nah, just because most of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah whoever, <laughs> most part, yeah. 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 whoever yeah. usually start the card game in the, in the card them games, like on the plane, it's kind of like, all right, like, yeah. you like them your guys. Yeah, those are your guys. Like, like you. that's who you go eat with. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. like, that's your crew. And so you got some guys that don't do shit when they get on the road. They yeah. go in their fucking room and you don't see them to shoot around shoot the game. Shoot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, shoot around, shoot the, around the game. You don't even know y'all teammates. He's on the first bus. <laughs> Niggas on the first bus, they do, hey, they do, yeah. I but how, I mean, I'm genuinely curious, Lexi, with you as well, how did those friendships end up forming? You got 12, 15 players on a team, you walk into the locker room, who do you, all right, I'm gonna gravitate towards this person, whatever, now we kicking it, now we inseparable. Just like minds, man. Yeah. Like, guys, if you've been around the league, you certain guys, you, like, it's, the NBA, we're in different cities, but the NBA's small, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's small, mm -hmm. so you you know who's guys like mine. Guys, mm -hmm. certain guys got same agents. Certain guys have all these things, so you know who's. So do you got to be friends if it's the same agent? Or no, you know, no, you don't have to. Not at all. But it's we got the same agent. I mean, you're kind of gonna keep just running tweets because the agent you're gonna run, come and y'all gonna be like, hey, training in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Does the agent try you to make y'all buddy? And if you have a teammate that's the same agent, y'all mm -hmm. might be in the city. Y'all both go out to eat. I yeah. got sudden just going out to eat, so you. But there are just certain things, man. You know, we was degenerates in Denver, so mm. we all hung out together. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm saying? Smaller, so, yeah. just going to read this to you, then we'll move on to our next topic. Uh, players, the chat says, are better than Aiden. Uh, this is according to the Lexi's Arena chat. Uh, Bill Wennington, Will Purdue, Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> Damn. Damn it. That's coming from the chat. But let's move on to our next. Perk with the stray. Facts or cap topic. So, the does KD belong in the GOAT conversation has made its way to the Bay. Uh, Durant's former teammate Draymond Green weighed in on the topic during a recent episode of his podcast. 
KD, he said, because I went to the Warriors. He's speaking on the GOAT conversation. Why is he not in the GOAT conversation? I think KD is one of the greatest scorers we've ever seen. The way KD scored the ball is so effortless. He's never seen a bad shot. Like, he's going to get you 31 points on 14 shots. That is a normal KD night. Obviously, I'm not one that's going to be like, KD's championships aren't real. Stop it. There's no championship that's not real. Steph didn't get the credit that Steph gets today until 2022 when he led this team to a championship and won the finals MVP. When all else was failing, Steph said, all right, fellas, come on, let's go there. Period. You got to go do what Steph did to get to that conversation. Okay, so Draymond saying KD needs to do what Steph did in 2022 to get to to the GOAT combo. Mm -hmm. Facts or cap? We'll start with you, Lexi. This is your arena. I'll say cap because I don't don't think Steph is in that conversation either. Okay. (laughs) Not saying that I don't think what Steph did for the game wasn't amazing or anything like that, but when I'm thinking about GOATs, like, I don't put Steph up there. But, I mean, that doesn't take away from... His abilities. I mean, I think when we talk about scoring, like that's kind of how we talk about Steph. Okay. Brandon, I heard a, a cough come from your oh, yeah. general direction. Oh, 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 I just, <laughs> I don't know if that was re- related to her comment saying that. <laughs> Mayo, so changing the game of basketball, you don't get mentioned in the, the, the GOAT conversation, like changing the game. So every kid that plays the game now goes to the three point line, right? They used to mm-hmm. dunk, want to be like Mike. Now every kid is like wanting to have a jumper. That doesn't. And it came, and it, and it transformed into success. So, like, yeah. that can't be mentioned as a GOAT. But is that what the GOAT debate is about? Because it's very would, transformative. What, what would LeBron's impact, influence, impact yeah. be? If you just said, like Mike with the dunking, Steph with the shooting, what's LeBron's then? LeBron's impact true. is something that we've never seen before and probably won't ever see from a guy from, well, for one, guys can't come out of high school no more. 18, um, 100 million straight out of high school. Nike, for sure. I think what you do off the court, too, makes makes you in a GOAT conversation. Um, so I think, like, when it comes to the GOAT, you got Michael, you got you, you got Michael, you got LeBron, you got Steph. That's it, there can be no third. Um, yeah, there was three well, presidential well, candidates well, in 92. Well, that's the thing. Like, they got to finish. Three yesterday. Mm-hmm. So, like, they got to finish. So, like, with the GOAT conversations, like, you know, LeBron left the door open for a lot of people to take it, too, at the same time. Like, with, with, with rings and... <laughs> Well, didn't we just say 20 minutes ago that that's not going to happen? Yeah. So, does rings put you in a GOAT conversation when the people with the most rings ain't even in the conversation? Because it's how you do it. I, I think they did it by getting 11. No, I think, no, I, but I think the way, the <laughs> way, in the conversation, like, what the GOAT is like, I mean, to me, it's like farewell. Like, are you going to even get a farewell tour? If you can't get a farewell tour in the NBA, then you ain't in no GOAT Reggie conversation. Reggie Miller got one. Huh? Reggie Miller got one. Reggie Miller got a, a farewell tour? I mean, Lifelong what? pacer, Gil. I saw Reggie Miller the other day. He wasn't. No, I'm saying he got a farewell tour, so that. But we shared a look. Nobody knows that. He wasn't. He yeah, wasn't rolling with your. because it don't. It don't matter. He wasn't it's rolling crazy. with your star bench. <laughs> so that, but that's rare. But I'm no. saying like, but but, you know like. <laughs> no. Like 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 a farewell tour. That's a big. That means, bro. We stopping basketball for like. Do like, like, like you don't say like we're stopping. Yeah, like D Wade got a farewell tour. No, it's hard to get a farewell tour because most players, most yes, most he players went. don't know when they're yeah. done. Yes, most, most players don't know when that's this is going to be my last year. No, you There's announce it. People. You know when you're done. You, you announce it. Because mm. that's what I said. Reggie done. Miller was like, "This is going to be my last year." That's why he got the farewell tour. Same with D Wade. Other most players don't know when they're done. They just right. I didn't know. Like Shaq didn't get a farewell tour because he didn't know he was done. Like I hear you, B. Like I, I, I'm, I'm a, a, a Steph. Absolutely, give him credit. The credit is due. But when we, this is the best basketball player conversation, right? Right. Steph, on if we have a Mount Rushmore of basketball, at the importance of the game, Steph is absolutely on that motherfucker because he changed the game of basketball. Single-handedly change the game, the way people draft, the way people coach, the way people try to defend the game of basketball. He's single-handedly had a great deal in that. So, absolutely. Yeah. So, but let's, let's get but, back a little bit just to this Draymond saying KD needs to do mm-hmm. what Steph did in 2022 to get in the go yeah. convo. Mm-hmm. I think it's weird that he brought Steph into it because I don't think KD is even 
when he's thinking about ghosts. <laughs> I don't even think he was thinking about Steph. You and he to. was like, you I want to be in that conversation. But good, do you think that's facts or cap? This used to be your show, girl. We want to hear your opinion. See, it used how, to be your show, girl. This is how I used to be your show, girl. This is how I used to be on this side of the show, couch. Girl. Just quiet sometimes. Okay, can you just at least let us know what that looks like? What look? am I answering? What dumb question am I answering? Draymond saying KD needs, girl. He needs to do what Steph does. Don't disrespect does. me on Lexi's arena. Is, is KD in the GOAT conversation? At if he end. does what Steph and, did in 20. And does he need to do what Steph mm -hmm. did? We're just talking, we're, we're talking about when Steph beat Boston, when, 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 they, when they beat Boston. Like, does he need to put the team on his back like that and go to win be, a championship to and, be, to be in, in the GOAT conversation? That's, that, that's what they say. You can have staying good if you want. Do you know we have motherfuckers out here that don't even put LeBron James in the GOAT <laughs> debate? Which is crazy. Right? Just, you know how hard it is to get Kobe to talk in the GOAT debate, right? It's just those two. Are those two better than those two? As of right now, if we just stop basketball, is can the world say Curry is better, played the game better than Kobe? Kobe. No. Several people in the Bay Area would make that argument. Okay, I'm talking about the I'm world. Talking the bas okay, but just <laughs> right? basketball. The world. Right, right, but there right, is right, a set. Right? So if, if he's not better than Kobe right now, then we're going to say, no, he can't be in this conversation. Can uh, KD say he's better than Kobe right now and LeBron James right now? If the answer is no, then what are we talking about? So I will, if the answer is yes, then yes, he's in the debate. So I will, I will mark that down as a just, cap. I just, I just want a, a great answer. On, on but this, 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 we, we, you just don't fucking put people in the debate. Just the debate. Like, yeah, oh yeah, Giannis is in, is in the debate. Oh yeah, you know, Smush fucking Parker's in the debate. Well, fuck it, I'm in the debate, right? If we want to just start putting people in there, but, you know, next, am I going to get a vote? Fuck no. You will get zero a vote. votes. You will get a vote next week. Zero. When it transforms back from Lexus <laughs> Arena no. to Gills Arena. What I'm saying is, and you just, start paying my checks again. I'm just saying it's no, it's. No, I get it. I understand. It's a race, man. Right? I know, no matter how many people sit on that line to race this race, right? We only give a fuck about right. First place, second place, third place. And no one really pays attention to third place, right? For the most part, no one gives a fuck about second place. So it's Man, weird. I just want to know the criteria. <laughs> it is I just, just want to know the criteria of being the GOAT. I got There's you. Like, 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 you know, so I think, I here think we all do. Not. There's not. So, so B wasn't here yesterday, right? And that's why we're, you know. But, so I said yesterday, right? You can take Michael Jordan off of this fucking page. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. He's exempt from all further in my from all further goat conversations because you're not replacing him. Nope. Throughout until somebody else come along to do that can matter anything he's done. <laughs> nobody he's not coming off the list. So now we can start from there. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying this. Yeah, is, yeah. Let, let's just stop. Ten scoring titles. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. let's let's stop the bullshit here. Mm -hmm. Right. He's off of. Yeah, he's super max. Yeah, yeah. He's super, <laughs> super, super, he's super max. max. He's super, 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 he's super, 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 super max. This is just regular max conference. <laughs> right. Okay. Just regular nigga okay. conference. Yeah, this is regular so go nigga conference. Now we start from there, right? Go we got Bean, Bron, KD, Steph. Like now we could. Yeah, well, now if you really want to start. <laughs> Magic. Yeah, okay, cool. But because like, Mike is Mike. You can throw it. Whoever wants. Whoever, Y'all want the argument to fucking be from this day forward, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? From yesterday. I said Michael the shit yesterday, Jordan actually. But you can leave Michael fucking Jeffrey Jordan out of it. Because it doesn't matter what nobody says. Them stats and resume and who he is, what he did for the game, what mm -hmm. is embedded forever in sports. Mm -hmm. It's what the fuck it is, man. This man was the biggest thing on the planet pre-internet. Mm -hmm. mm. Pre-fucking internet. This man was the biggest thing on the planet. God. Hey, hey, everybody's oh. fighting for the Jesus hey. role. Hey. Hey, yo, be and God. Hope, and, and I'm not saying it, and I'm saying Jesus and the disciples. Hey, Jesus I hope Michael man. Jordan lived to be, you yeah, know, absolutely. however long, right? Yeah. Um, yo, if Mike died, yo, do you think that the NBA would just not play any games? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So that's how big so so that's how big you are to the game of basketball. I asked somebody that, I said, yo, yeah, would, would, would they yeah, stop playing like, you know what I'm saying? Would the league just be like, yo, we taking the day off, I don't care we have a game, yo, we just going Probably a week. A week? I say twenty-three days just out of respect. 
Definitely. I, I tried to tell somebody no, that. Rank, that my, yeah, that, yeah, that, need my listen, money. if you really want to know how big he is, can someone go, I don't know if we can pull it up right now, just go to the 75 introduction. Yeah. That just, that lets you know right there. There's, the, you know, there's 75 of the greatest players that ever play, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that were still there, right? Alive. 74 of them got cheered, or whoever was there, right? When they said Michael Jordan last, he out-trumped all of them combined. All 74 combined? Oh, they clapped just as loud as the fucking people in the stands. <laughs> the 74 they called before him they clapped just, <laughs> just as loud as the fucking people in the stands did. You got Hall of Fame, you got niggas with the same jacket. Same jacket. Woo! <laughs> they <laughs> that motherfucking power hey. and shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's what, that's the way heavyweight Champions think about fucking Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. No. In Ohio. Uh, just, yeah. hey, it of. was in Ohio, right? Yeah. It, was in, yeah. it was in Cleveland. It was in Cleveland. 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 <laughs> Cleveland. Where that's LeBron was born. <laughs> Akron, there Gil, Akron, adjacent. I'm just saying. Not the same like, that's how important you are to the game. So, but that, like, but that's you know, what I'm saying you, when we're talking about... Go, that's why I said, like, there's no... And everyone just kept thinking I was, I was saying something retarded. Yeah. There's no criteria. Whatever criteria you're going to use, it wasn't used for the God himself. Right. It wasn't used. You know, 11 rings. You need 11 rings. Criteria. You need 10 rings. You need... It, it wasn't created... The crown wasn't given off any criteria. It was given off of... This yeah, him. that's him. Yep. <laughs> that's him. Hey, Shit get it built. And you got magic them. But he ain't win shit. Yeah, uh, 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 he ain't winning. Okay, uh... Mm, all right, let's put an expansion teams in here. Erase some of those guys, change the rules, take off the two hand hand check. All right, go. <laughs> Champion. Okay, now we gave it to him. Right? <laughs> so the criteria is there's no, the, what I'm saying is they're using the criteria now as a standard, but that wasn't a standard, right? 10 scoring titles and all. That wasn't the standard. So you take him off and say, all right, what is the, <laughs> what is the real criteria for everyone? Now, Bill Russell and all of them guys can now, I got my 11 rings and I got this and that. And <laughs> you're going to still trick that. You're going to trick it for whoever you like anyway. It's pointless. I think that may, might go. I, I think that might be National Basketball Day, huh? For everybody around the world. Is, well, so, Gil, qu question for you. Uh, yesterday, you showed us all the Michael Jordan practice gear that you want. You had. Would you raw dog anybody else's practice gear in NBA history? Like, say, if you found Bill Russell's practice gear. <laughs> Bob Cousy. Raw dog. Raw dog. Hilarious. The practice shorts, girl, you didn't watch them. I would wear Kobe's. You wouldn't wear Kobe's practice gear. I would wear his, if, okay. I, if I had his orthotics. You found, I would wear his orthotics. Okay, you take Wearing LeBron James orthotics. You wear LeBron. I'm wearing Steph Curry's orthotics. You wearing Steph's orthotics. Katie's, give them here. Okay. <laughs> Shit, fuck around, I get some of that John Morant jumping ability too. Is she crazy? <laughs> so, DeAndre Aiden's <laughs> orthotics. DeAndre Aiden's orthotics. Are you leaving? Are you not rocking? But what if they're very I had those orthotics. Just look at my shit when I was on Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to be a disappointment. I probably had them shits when I was in the motherfucking shootout. <laughs> so, so when it comes, when it comes oh, to Draymond... Damn. That's the orthotics I had when I was in that goddamn shootout. When it this comes to Draymond me. saying KD He's needs to do what Steph did in 2022 <laughs> to get in the GOAT combo... Survey says, <laughs> hey, I, hey, I wanted to call, hey, I wanted to call hard and, hey, man, look, what shoes you got on? These, this, these, this, this, this must be the version when you first got here, hey, God damn it. Stop, stop. Give all me right. the ones you got now. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I got the 0-6s, God damn it. That's the goddamn ones I had when you was 0-6. Where's the ones you got now? Them Send the me them. You, them the ones you were shooting in the 0 yeah, <laughs> Them the ones you start, started off the beginning of the season with. Oh. Give me the Christmas ones and the ones... <laughs> Moving forward, them January horns. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I knew something was wrong. I knew I was, it wasn't my arm. Yeah, you weren't rocking November. No, you didn't rock your own. I was rocking November. No, you didn't rock your, <laughs> no, you didn't rock your own shoes. You supposed to rock your own shit. You Gil. The you, are hell? Age, you are age of 12. Now. I was singing Evolution, baby. Man, no, <laughs> I man. needed some new shit. Didn't realize it was the November. It was the November horn. Why would it be a disappointment? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the Underdog app. Use promo code Lexi. They will match your first deposit mm. up to $100. All right, well, let's talk about Team USA. Uh, USA Basketball released the 41 players that will be trying to make the 12-man roster. 
uh, for the 24, 24 Olympics in Paris this summer. Shout out Mark J. Spears, the living legend, uh, for dropping a lot of names on that list. Uh, as y'all know, I have bad vision, even bolded, hard to see. But, you know, our, our expert team of producers here at Lexi's Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy, Woof Woof. Uh, Let's keep that up. No, we got, we got, we got, this, keep this shit. we got, no, we got full screens good. We're going to go alphabetical order, 10 players at a time. No. And I want y'all to tell me who's guaranteed to make the squad and who will be watching from the crib. So let's, like, let's, let's start with let's, page one. And let's be honest right here. Jared Allen ain't got a fucking chance of making it. <laughs> Jasmine <laughs> Bain ain't got a fucking chance of making it. Alex, Alex Caruso, Caruso ain't got a yeah. fucking chance of making it. Like. The white goat? No, yeah. man. Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brunson, no. Participated in this last Jalen Brunson might not make it. Devin Booker and here we're gonna take Devin Booker and maybe Jimmy. Maybe. maybe so from this list, Jalen Brown, Jalen Brunson. So I look at Paolo, no love for you, get. like Paolo, because his size and his skill ability. Like I just that he's USA basketball. And Devin Booker does nothing De for you guys. D book, okay. Devin Booker one. So D book, Bam out of bio does nothing for you. Paolo. Bam. I think D book Bam. Paolo and Bam. This is just the first. Bro, do y'all know who the rest of the list is coming after this? Yeah, I'm just saying who deserve who, who's who. Who has a chance? Who has, has a, chance, a chance, chance is what I'm saying. Who, who, who can get him? Who has a chance? Not, who not has go a make chance? it. Uh, Devin Booker. Uh, uh, this list. Jimmy Butler. Devin Booker. Yo, no, so nobody rocking. else but Devin I'm Booker. Good. You must ain't watched Devin, Devin Booker. I don't think he's Paolo play. Yeah. So I need Paolo a yes or no. Paolo, because there's, there's this position that there's uh, the LeBron plays. Okay. Kevin Durant plays. All right. That's another like spot. That's another spot. Jason Tatum plays. There's those three. So realistically, no. So just Devin hey. Booker, in your opinion, and Bam. Well, Bam potentially. I think Paolo and Paolo. Okay, we'll put listen, I think I'll Devin put Booker and Bam because they need big. I think we'll, Bam. Put, we'll put we'll put put Paolo on the maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, put him maybe. on the maybe side. All right, so get, give me the next page, please. Yeah, please put him on the maybe side. Boom! Right. There right. we go. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna, <laughs> them five, boys. Them five, five for right sure. There, right? Them five. Them five, right five for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all see that list? Huh? No, no. Yeah, that ain't you. Them five for sure. On that side, them five for sure. PG you know, and Halliburton. They gonna come up on the next page. Yeah, that's what I said. I knew that next. I knew that next ten. It was like they mixed it in. They tried to hide all the good ones in the middle. PG and Halliburton on what? We got all them five. So it's seven off of this page. Okay, so you got what? So you got seven off of this page. Seven off of so this who, page. So who, who's gonna be at the crib? ATC. You saying Aaron Gordon? Aaron, Aaron Gordon, Aaron, James, James Harden, and De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox, ooh, damn. I know. Not De'Aaron. Yeah, oh, that's, that's five. So wait, hold on, let me get it. So you got Steph, Steph AD, KD, Yeah, because the, yeah, the USA is all night. Joel. They're not have two Under Armour players. They're not getting two? Yeah, you know Kevin. how Nike is. No, they <laughs> not getting two. Ed, two Who y'all think of what? Embiid. Embiid. Hallenberg, PG, and Hallenberg. Mm -hmm. And B Rock Sketchers or my trip? They gonna let yeah. a nigga. Next! Next! Next, next line. Which is crazy. Oh, yeah, you can just get rid Oh, okay. And hey, hey, them boys go to the other side. Two. <laughs> hey, I like Kyrie Irving and Jane. So, and hey, Sketchers, yo, but all bullshit aside, Jaron Jackson Jr. is, he's a possibility. I'm just, as far as big, what he do, I'm thinking about international basketball, okay. bro. Mm -hmm. Not. I'm thinking about international. So you can put him on the maybe side over the Apollo. Yeah, we're gonna put, we're gonna put him on the maybe side of 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 uh, the maybe of the maybe. Yeah, the maybe of the first page. The, the maybe of the maybe. The, the mid level maybe. <laughs> yeah, I knew, so, no, no, there's a. You I'm, think they'll bring Drew in? So from this list, Kyrie, no. Jaron, and LeBron no. James. No. You're not giving Drew Holiday no love no. for the defense. No man. I'm no, asking, man, we got no, no. We don't care about no. that. Not your arena anymore. We don't care about that. We don't care about that shit right now. We just want to outscore everybody. You gotta have buckets and personality. So I like Kyrie Irving. He's not gonna make it. Man, I love. So, so y'all talk about defense. So, so what happened? PG don't play defense, huh? Who said that? MB don't play defense. Anthony Edwards don't play defense. Okay, Anthony Davis right, don't play right, defense. Right, right, How right. much motherfucker? We don't <laughs> right, need no right, only right. defense to play on. Not at all. <laughs> Next. Okay, okay. Wait, who do we pick from this list? Who the fuck? Wait, hold on. Go back. Go back. Walker Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> get, get, Damn, get, leave the man alone. No, I'm just looking at. There were some names that. I don't even know if they're the best player on their teams. Grand they are the best player on their teams, bro. And they, some of these guys are here. Next, please. Grand, Grand Hill Jesus just throwing some darts. Christ. Grand Hill just throwing some darts. Next. Dark. All right, let's go to the next page, please. Tatum. We got Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi. And Jason Tatum. Previous uh -huh. page was, it was Kyrie, Jaron Jackson, LeBron James. I mean, they got to have a white boy. Tatum. No, we don't. No. Yes, you do. No, we don't. They're not, they not taking 15 brothers. America. They Shit, the, the rest of the years we did. 
America Gill. Name, name, name one white boy on the, uh, on that, John Stockton. Yeah. Well, go. So we need the token. Christian Lake. Hey, Chris, Christian Lake. Chris Mullen. No, I'm talking about Chris on the 96 team. On the 96 uh, team. Uh, on the 96 yeah. team, and then Christian Lake don't know. Uh, who else is here? Jason, uh, Tatum. Jason Tatum and Kawhi. Dame? Dame? Yeah, that's Dame it. Dame we got, got one spot on. left. Dame got too much stuff going. I don't think he can. We got think one Trey, spot. Courtesy of us. No, I don't think We got know. one really spot. Trey too Next. Oh, that's it. That's it. That that's completes. It. <laughs> so we got one spot. We all, so right, we right now, hey, we yo, have. Hey, hey, hey yo, they didn't put DeMar DeRozan on there? Like, like no. uh, Zach Levine? Like, no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, look, remember, as of right now, we got Devin Booker, Curry two, Anthony Davis three, Kevin Durant four, Anthony Edwards five, Embiid six, PG seven, Tyrese. We can put a question mark if you want to. James. James who? LeBron. Oh. <laughs> That's nine. Kawhi Leonard, 10. I thought you was going by first name. Tatum, 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 11. So we got one spot. We got one spot for Kyrie, Jalen Brown, uh, Jimmy Butler. Paolo. Paolo. There's one Jaren spot. Jaren Jackson. Yeah, Jaren Jackson. However y'all want to do that one spot. I'm, Good luck. Break the whole so yeah, cue, throw it on and, the ground. And, and the problem with this is, as the team, just be honest. Just be honest with these boys. Hey, 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 listen. We just doing this shit for shits and giggles, but all y'all ain't making it, right? We only got one spot left, and it's gonna be one, two, three, f- those five guys. <clears throat> That's it. We just need the, the, the rest of y'all so we can play five on five. Absolutely. We need, a bunch, <laughs> we need a bunch of guys so guys don't get hurt. Yeah, yeah. We need five on five so we can see what these guys is going to do. Yeah. Yeah, please let me know that before I come so I don't come. So 29 right. of y'all well, coming for cardio? So like Kyrie? I mean, oh, Kyrie? Yeah. USA basketball? Yeah. It's always that. Yeah, I'm going to say, just invite me. No. Some, well, if if I'm some of them names so on there, I got to know I'm not making it. So why even come? Like I, you, it's part I of went the to one of them when I was in college. They just brought a what, bunch of us out that motherfucker and be like, shit. Just play. Fillers. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all knew who was going to make it. Uh, fi- I'm then, cool. Yeah. I'm See, cool. that nigga, cool. like, that's what I'm saying. That nigga yeah. like me show up. <laughs> them, first, them, first two team, them first two teams, they wasn't, there was no tryouts. Why don't you just go get young guys then? They just pick them. They're not going to win. No, 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 no. I'm not saying to, 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 to try out, right? Like, oh, yeah. Like, for the, like, still, like why waste my time? If I'm a... What I'm saying is... is young. There's no point of wasting time because no matter what you Chet, do, Chet, all them, all them dudes is young. You're right. But what I'm saying is no matter what you do in this tryout, it ain't going to get you on this team. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You wasting my time. If you go out there and you busting LeBron James ass, it don't matter. But I mean, a lot of these Let's guys. Let's think about, oh yeah, they LeBron, want, you got to go. I don't think they're going to, do you think they honestly going to make LeBron go out here and try out for the No, league? no none of them. Not. Kevin Durant. No. No. no Steph Curry. No. Ele- there's 11 spots Jason guaranteed. Tatum. No. Like, they're not making these guys try. Because Olympus is 2020. Wait, this no, summer. I mean, this summer. And, and, and then it comes here in 2028. Turned up. Well, that's that's, where, that's where Paolo I'm, I'm and Fox and hmm? all those I'm guys, that's, that's, that's there. Which I'm is going why they're yeah, yeah, just move and rent your house out. I'm, I'm not going to put you in there. Don't trust niggas. Can we have a girls' We better get some property in there. They're going to be here. They're going to want to stay anywhere. I'm scared. they staying anywhere. They're going to stay anywhere out here. Anyway, gotta get some, gotta get some, uh, some property, property yeah, out here. Absolutely. You know, they don't want an Airbnb by it, it will be turned up in 2028. Mm. All the foreigners, they don't care where to stay. Hey. It looks nice. Don't, don't know where they are. Uh, Jalen Brown, Ingram, all <laughs> those guys. Where they the jungles. Manchester and LeBron. Hey, the jungles. Hey, hey, you be seeing them at the bus stop near the jungles like, no, go, go. <laughs> go that way. Get out of here. Like, that's what I said, what, three guards? So three, your three guards would be, what, Curry? On Norman Ian Weston. Like Curry, Tyrese, and what? Um, and Ky- Kyrie? Yeah. Those would be your three? Do you think they're going to put Kyrie on the team? Mm hmm. I'm just thinking. I mean, he's been yeah. I'm thinking USA so well. Basketball. He had. I'm Kyrie just thinking of USA it. Basketball of the. I mean, he's USA. He's been USA. Who he signed with, too? Uh, just controversy. That's all. I'm just thinking. No, no. Wait, yeah, Kyrie. Oh, uh, yeah. Who did Kyrie. Uh, that's all I'm, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, he, I'm trying to think outside the box. Basketball, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and to, right? I'm just thinking outside Baller. the box right now. I don't even know. Because it's going to be hard. I, I'm just When it comes to this shit, people got memory like elephant. But to be honest, like, when people talk about, like, your outside stuff, the fuck does that do anyway? It doesn't. No, I, I'm hearing you, but... Like, you know what I mean? Like, th- this would be me. Like, you saying, oh, yeah, you know, we're scared for this. Bitch, my jersey's number two in selling, so obviously none of that matters. Yeah, but they don't want people... And my shoe. And my but shoe. But they don't want people boycotting, picking it outside. Who? The Olympic Village. Who? You never know the way people think, Gil. 
If I got 20,000 people picking an outside, good job. We're doing good. No, that's not good press. Yeah, it is. That's not good press. For yeah, you, it is. It is. <clears throat> it's good press. Yeah, because you thumbs up, everybody got something to say to you. Yeah, 20,000 people. I got 20,000 <laughs> people cheering me the fuck over yeah, when I'm walking out of the building. Yeah, you. Because you know they're going to buy the tickets. They're going to go in there and do the... No, they're not going, they're not going in. You, you, the protesters are not buying tickets, Gil. You know how... Yeah. You know how stupid protesting is in I'm reality? Just, I'm just letting you know what <laughs> USA basketball... I think Trump yeah. let everybody know how stupid it was. He goes and does a podium. <clears throat> 2,000 people is cheering him on. 20,000 people are there to boo him. He did exactly what I would do. Hey, I had 22,000 people here to see me. I had 22,000. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how many people said, fuck you. Yeah. 22,000. But you're not USA basketball. Yeah, you view the world differently. Yeah, you, you, you view the world. Hill, and trust Kerr. the USA, don't, USA committee don't want people outside the Olympic fucking village boycotting because of something that one of the guys has posted, had to say, or is a part of his team. Fucking skill set. What does it mean, though? Like, what? Like, boy, it's a me. world thing, Gil, but it ain't about you. It ain't about your fucking views. It ain't about theirs either. Yes, it is. Because they picking a the fucking team. So you think they're not going to get views if, if Kyrie's playing? Yeah. That's, they that's don't want I'm... any bad press whatsoever when it comes to USA basketball or so, USA so sports, bad, period, so why, Olympics. So why would... Mm. Just no bad press. So why would you let Kobe put on a USA jersey? It, they, it's, None of it, it has it's nothing to do with political views or race or fake. anything like that. Did it? No. Kyrie was getting crucified because sense, of what he posted very about. We're in a sensitive time right now also. So you, just okay. hear me out. Okay, okay, okay. Right? Okay. It's like all... The, it's okay. the timing of I'm it. I'm pretty sure somebody had a problem it's with Kobe being on a limited. Yes. Okay. But, but it had it, nothing to do with the climate of the world that we live in today but it's and so because biggest, so because of biggest, that so because of that it tweet is, is it might i ain't saying they oh, I know, are no, no, i know i know but, but you said that i ain't saying they the are but it could be something that comes into question right. if we wondering why Kyrie didn't make it it could be that is what i'm saying okay. it ain't got shit to okay. do with the way you think about life gilbert like I, I think, about, think like, about facts. I think about facts. These are facts here. 20,000 people are boycotting it's not sold good. out arena. What the fuck do I care They're not about? going in. Says who? Yeah. They're going they, in every arena now. So what's yeah, the difference? We're talking, the about the U we talking about the Olympics, Gil. So we're not talking about fucking the basketball arena downtown LA. So I'm so I'm gonna be a fan. This the Olympics. Well, hold, hold on, hold on. Here, so the world is here watching. I'm gonna be a fan of the Olympics. The world is and here watching. And I'm not watching. gonna go in to see LeBron James, Kevin Durant, the rest We're of the world. We're not talking about the fans guy? of the Olympics, Gilbert. One guy. We're not talking about you. Talking about the fans of the Olympics. I'm talking about people that care about the shit that he posted. Fuck the fans. I care about what, what, what I'm saying is if it doesn't. Fuck the fans. But the fans is what we care about. The fans are going no matter what. Okay, exactly. We're not talking about them. So why do I care then? We're not because if, you're not the U.S. You're not the USA committee, Gilbert. But what I'm saying is, as the USA, if committee, you was on the USA committee, you would have to change your fucking views in the way you think. But you're not. You sit here with me debate. Wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> hey, let me so, ask you something. Okay, so look, this this was a real conversation. So absolutely, you know, obviously, um, women didn't like my views, and you know Adidas was selling my shoes. Right. Women? Yeah. We, okay. And okay. they were like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, we're having pushback on the women. Mm -hmm. And I, I just blatantly said it. Mm -hmm. When the fuck did they start buying my shoes? Okay, that, you can stand on that. But it's real. It's my bottom line. If it doesn't bottom your bottom line, but Dave you, Chappelle but proved it. But if you it can doesn't stand bottom on your that. bottom line, your bottom line is your bottom line. If it doesn't affect your bottom line, why? Because everyone has a voice. You can stand on that, Gil, but we're not talking about you. You bringing this back to fucking you once again? We're not talking about you. You bringing it about about you? That's no, I'm reality. not. I'm talking about USA basketball in a hypothetical that's, that's situation that's here. Hypothetical. It's not real, right? No, you brought up a real situation. A real situation that was so real. So therefore, you're talking about USA basketball. Yours don't have. You're talking about you. Yeah. He, did he tweet something that the world had that people had a problem with? Yes. A big fucking problem with. Yes did, or no? Did, did it was it a problem, Gil? Don't try to not sex yes, so but did it affect four. anything in reality? Yes, the boy got suspended. He didn't play fucking basketball, so yes, okay, he did. Okay, now. Does it affect Now, it? people have long memories like an elephant when it comes okay, to certain things, long. is what I'm saying. So there's 82 so games when it been come, playing. How we're not games? talking about the... You, we, you want to keep talking about the NBA, Gil. There's those people... Oh, right. We're talking right. about the world here. Right. Is the world going to be in Paris? 
Yep. And quite people, literally, yes. Yes, the world is gonna be <laughs> no, the absolutely. No, 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 okay, no, perfect. No, no. Quite. No, so if I see him on the Sorry. roster, I have a chance to go or not. So, so if I don't go, then I don't your go. That's your choice. We're not talking about you. I'm not going to go there. You so know how once stupid again, you got to look to Once again, to you're talking about you. Protest. Once again, you're talking about you. I'm speaking facts. People do it all the time. I live in wherever I live, and, and I'm going to get you, a plane once again, you bring it about boycott. Yes. Yes. In Paris. yes. Yes, nigga. You were a moron. <laughs> that's your opinion, but no, people do it all fact. the time. That's a fact. People do it all the time, Gil. Go? So people yeah, that pick it are morons. People might think that people who buy a ticket to go watch someone like that play is also a moron. So, it yes. on your... So your you bring it in. Once again, you so, making this shit about so the you. Prob so the problem is, <laughs> in reality... You making it about you. You don't know how to hate. Hate means you just don't show the fuck up. Hate right. does not mean you spend That's your time writing, I hate you on shirts, getting them printed, going, traveling 10,000 miles to wave a fucking flag and say, I hate you. Hate you means I don't support it at, at all. all. At all. They're not supporting you. They're not, no. They're we'll not say, supporting Okay, we're talking about. Then how, they're not supporting the event. Then how do we know? They're not supporting the event. Then how do we know they're boycotting if they don't support They're not supporting the event, Gil, but they're not going inside. They are then why are you there? To. Pr Protest. The fuck are you talking about, Gil? Well, I just said why they are there. I just said why they are there. To what? Because they dislike something that somebody did or said or caused or whatever the fuck the issue so is. You put money in the city. You bought tickets. You bought no. fish. You did that. At the end of the day, the money's all that matters, man. No, it's you making this shit about banner, man. If you yeah. boycott, look. If I'm gonna boycott an arena, What's, you no one shows up to the arena. You zero make, tickets. That's sales. Gilbert's thought that process. That is boycotting. That's boycotting Gil doesn't mean it comes in different fashion. Show up. It comes it in different say, fashion. say I hate you. That is not boycotting. It it comes in different fashions, Gil. No, it doesn't. It, does it comes not. in one fashion. Well, boycott comes in different fashions. One fashion. How? Don't show up. That's your opinion. So that is a real boycott. Well, that's that's when we do and, not and go people, inside the place. And people pick it and boycott. people pick it and protest and all that shit, do they not? Yeah. Because of this different issues that they have a problem with, yes or not? And yes why, or no. And why does it work? Yes or no. Yes. They're voicing their fucking opinion because they have the right to. They have disliked yes. something, yes or no, yes. right? L let you do some, so Michael Vick and dogs and Peter. Why the fuck you think Arthur Blank didn't have his ass stand back at quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons? Huh? Was it real? But, was did what he, real? Did he get another job? After, when he got another job, we talking people, about Arthur Blank, the I don't job know that he about had. Him. If you're gonna boycott, because you know what this was about. What? It wasn't about the Atlanta Falcons. Mm -hmm. He didn't want motherfuckers out. He didn't want Peter outside of motherfucking Home Depot, nigga, because he owns fucking Home Depot. Okay, well, and then trust when he, me. Okay, and then when he got a job, it, they boycott. We talking about Arthur Blank here. I don't give a fuck. That's one person. Another because person, he had a. But that's what we talking about. Another USA person took a job. versus the down. Lexi's Lexi's arena. Go ahead, Lexi. Another person took a job and took a job on him. It's oh. another person. I didn't say that person. This, this, okay, but in reality... I'm not talking about that person, Gil. Okay, but... I said Arthur Blank. Now... The reason Arthur Blank yeah. didn't... Okay. Because he didn't want Peter... He didn't want. And if he would... And, and guess what? Uh -huh. Wherever Michael Vick went, guess what? What happened? Motherfuckers out that bitch with fucking signs... Boy, picketing and shit, so when, he went to, when he went to Philadelphia? Yes, Bill, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, but, right? But, but the difference. How was that arena in, outside and, but the But they picket. still fans that went to the game, Gil. That's all. Those are people that don't give a fuck about Michael Vick and dogs. Okay, so how many people show And there's people that's going to go see Kyrie Irving play if he makes the Olympic team because they don't give a fuck what he posted. Okay. Okay. But there are people that had a problem with it. Okay, so Michael Blank, Michael Blank's stats are not real because we don't Michael know. Michael Vick, Michael Vick. No, 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 the, 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 the owner. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur We don't what? know. But we don't know. That, that. was the assumption that something was going to happen. You don't know. It happened, Gil. <laughs> no, yeah, it happened in Philly. He sold yeah. out everywhere he went. That's yeah. that's the true fact. No, yeah, no, the Philadelphia Eagles sold. Out. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles to go see Michael Vick, no. and his jersey was everywhere. Okay, that is the real. Those stat. are Michael Vick fans. No matter what he did, no matter what he had to say. Exactly. And Kyrie Irving has the exact same thing, Gil. And there are still people that have a problem on this. You, if you flip, there's two sides of a coin. Yes or no? Yes. There's two sides of a fucking coin. There are people that well, love that him. There's people that love him. And his supply. I'm Olympics. telling you, the, in the meeting, in the committee meeting, when people are sitting down talking, who are we going to have on the team? Mm hmm. Guarantee. The shit 
can, will come up. It will come up, Gil. And if he doesn't make the team, damn what his skill set is, I guarantee this was a conversation that was had. We're talking about the world, all. It's a that view. That we're going to see. That they we're going to have, a, they, that, that we're gonna to have a bunch of people boycotting the it's U.S. It's the thing, though. Game. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to keep interjecting your fucking self in it or not, is one thing. Yours but this is, is a thing. Everything you said is hypothetical. No, no this There's is not no hypothetical. Fact on it. We're talking about who can where's make the, the team results? or not. We're talking about who can make the team or not. No, my right? is We're talking result? about who can make the team or not. Right. The results are, did the boy miss games because of something that he tweeted? Yes. Did people have a problem with it? Yes. Will it come up in conversation when it's time? We don't know. I'm telling All you. All we know will. is he plays for Dallas. And it's going to come and up. And nobody's boycotting. Because people yes. ain't going to forget. Nobody's boycotting. Lexi, this is your arena. What you have to say? Trust me. We, talk, we ain't talking about... You want to keep talking about the NBA, Gilbert. And money. Keep talking about the NBA. I'm talking Your, about... Yours is fantasy, though. No, There's no realness not, in this. So we're not going to the Olympics? There, there, uh, who? So the it's, USA is not going to the Olympics? Yes. It, US, so are the... Is USA going to be represented in the Olympics? Yes. Yeah. I'm just curious here. And you're, and you're yes. saying the world right? is going to boycott? Huh? Yes. The I'm, world I'm saying is going to boycott? Did I say the tradition. world, motherfucker? No. You said the world. No, the people. The going to be there. The world is going to be there. People in the world. People inside the world have a problem with I, things, Gil. I, I think we can boycott for anything. You, so once again, you want to make this shit about you. You want to keep making this shit about you. I didn't say me. It ain't about we you. We can boycott anything. It ain't about you. You can boycott anything. I'm not boycotting shit matter, because though. it ain't my fucking What does it matter if you don't buy a ticket? I don't give, arena sold out, not, that's all it I'm matter. not talking about me, Gilbert. You want to keep matter. putting yourself in it. No, but it has nothing to do with me. Yes, you do. You keep You're saying, if this, I do this, if it's me, if it's no. you keep wanting okay, shit about if you. if he goes, I'm not do talking you about think me. no one's going to go to the arena? Did I say that? Do did I say that? Is the arena going to be sold out, yes or no? Yes, and there okay, could and be why people. The fuck do I, why because, the fuck do anybody give a fuck? Because people do, Gilbert. Okay. That's the fucking fact of the matter. I don't get, we don't, you, you're not you here to make fucking friends. You don't. Right? There's a, two sides of the coin. Yeah, exactly. People right? love him and people don't like him. And the people who don't like him don't show up. The well, fuck we care for? They can show up and boy, pick it is what I'm saying. And the USA don't want fucking bad press. Who cares? So, yeah. All right, but let, let's point blank, period. Let, yeah, let's <laughs> you want to keep interjecting yourself Who in. cares? Let, hey, you want to make it hey, about hey, you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk a little bit about Kyrie since you brought up the subject. So in a recent interview with ESPN, Irving had this to say about his time with the Mavs and how he's grown as a person and mm -hmm. as a hooper. He said, I had to be mature enough to say, I got to take accountability for my own actions. I got to really walk and be the example that I want to see in the world. And that's just being a good person to a lot of people and not being so hard to reach, not being so isolated where people can misjudge that as whatever it is. Like, mm -hmm. oh, he doesn't talk or he's not really close with anybody. I don't really know him that well. So I feel like a lot of people misjudge me. Dallas gave me a chance to just focus on the main thing, which is being the best basketball player when I stepped foot here and then off the court still support me. Yeah. So do we feel like you talk about those discussions and what's going on? Yeah. That Kyrie, and, and to the point, Mavs, uh, Mavs games, mm -hmm. has, you know, hasn't really been no issue with Kyrie. Of course. Could we not talk about it? It's but not about once him being again. Problem, a problematic person. It's yeah. about what has happened in the past. And that's the biggest yeah. critique yeah. the world has on the United States yeah. is that we only care about the United States and ourselves. So yeah, but I, mean, even, I understand even, what Gil's saying. Like, yeah, at the end of the day, money is being made. To yes, absolutely. Soul, but it's, the, it's not about the United States at the Olympics. It's yeah. about... And Everybody therefore, my point is we talk about Michael Vick. The NBA. I understand you talk so about when we pick a president. Yes. So when we pick a but president, it's represent our country, right? Yeah. 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 About the United States. Gonna, gonna, everybody's going to grow. Everybody yeah. can't no, grow. Yeah, but no, you're still going to have people who hate Vick no matter what he says or does. To this day. Yeah, for sure. To this day. To this day. People. No, but it's the. USA basketball and the president? No. Because the president is representing the. I mean, are you the United States of America? No. No, it is a big thing. I, I, I thought we were supposed to be the most US. selfish country. I just feel like we, we picked a nigga like. Ourselves. Now we think about what the world. Th okay, I got it. I just feel like we picked Trump, but now we complain about what Trump, or what, what Kyrie tweeted. Like we picked Trump yeah. as America. So how do you think that we're viewed as Americans yeah. to picking him if we don't fuck with him, but we're worried about Kyrie hooping that in, in a USA game? Because it didn't, oh, no, the world, it didn't affect the oh, numbers. You, you live in different countries, you played other, other places. Yeah. You know the way they think about fucking Americans? Right, but... <laughs> but, uh, but, but what I'm that saying is... Before but what I'm you saying play is, another place. But what I'm yes. saying is, it's not stopping right? from... Yes. But it's still not stopping people from going to the USA it's games not. and, and uh, like, supporting us and, and us doing our thing. It's so not. at the end of the day, putting Kyrie on that team ain't going to stop it's USA not. basketball it's not or anything. The, it's not Jesus Christ, that. dog. 
Y'all missing the fucking point, man. No, I, don't, I, I mean, I guess I am. I just feel like we picked Trump, so how are we I, I, mad about Kyrie? We we're, we're, we're not mad. mad. No, 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 we're not no, no, mad. No, 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 I'm just saying the people. How I said I, I'm a Kyrie fan. Look, I, listen, I've been, been put. I, I'm, I've been getting slandered for saying that I think Kyrie is the best basketball player on this team. Listen, trust me. <laughs> yes, sir. motherfuckers been on my ass because I said this man is better than Luca. Mm-hmm. And that's just my personal opinion. Luca's yeah. bad motherfucker, but my personal choice is Kyrie Irving, right? Yeah. I'm taking my personal thought process and what I feel out of, mm-hmm. it. Out of this. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I'm looking at broad picture here. Right? When they go to these fucking summits that ain't got nothing to do with sports, right? That all these countries are at and all these issues come up worldwide, right? And then they're talking private, whatever the conversations are. There's a lot of motherfuckers in there that look at the U.S. like, y'all ain't shit. Mm-hmm. And not the country that we know that hate us. Like, we, we know the country that got a problem with us. Mm-hmm. But it's other people that's in the same room that think the same thing. And just imagine the people that live in those countries that has access to the same news and the same stuff that we have. So these countries saying feel, we ain't shit, but they need us when it's absolutely, time for, of course. For, for help. Absolutely. Okay. That, that, yes, yeah. of course, that's the way it goes. But we're talking about sport yeah, here, about sports. right? <laughs> and on a smaller note, there are people that's going to show up in every game that USA basketball play, whether Kyrie, on, Kyrie is on the team or not, is going to be a sold-out game. Yes, 1,000%. I'm with that, yes. Whether he's on the team or not, because it's USA basketball, and there are a lot of beloved players on that team, him included. Him included. And at the same time, while they in that motherfucker cheering us on and all that, there could be people outside that's disliking it. Right? And, that, and those two things can exist at the same fucking time. And what I'm saying is, the USA as a whole, as a committee, as the people that vote on this keep shit, that in mind. they have to keep that in mind. And we're not the only country probably that's going to deal with something like that. They have other players. Trust me, that they, probably that's making the decisions on athletes that have controversial things going on within their country that they have to make these decisions on. Because they don't need the bad press around the world. Because the, the world is watching. <laughs> and the world is there. And the world is there. Yeah, but, but does Kyrie deserve to be punished for something that no. he's grown and moved No, on? I'm not saying I'm not, that. I'm not saying you are saying Jesus that. Christ. I'm not saying that. I'm just asking I you. said if Kyrie is there or not, but yeah. we all grow as people. His words mean a lot to people. To what he, He's showing people that he's all of those things can exist, and people right. still have a problem with him. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, right. <laughs> the I mean, fuck? No, no, and, no, people no, on the, on the and people on the committee can have a problem with him. No, I ain't I think, saying they are, but they fucking could. Yeah, for sure. No, I they think, could be of different ethnicity, different race, different religious views, different color of him, and they still, whatever his words are, that shit going one end out the other. Because they have a preconceived notion already. They, he, he gave them ammunition where they not, I'm not trying to hear nothing else he has to say. Nothing else Kyrie say, about, and they can be on that committee. That's all I'm saying, dog. It's all hypothetical still. These are people, man. But if, that, but if that's the case of people. why he can't make it, that's whack as No, but that's what I said. It's all like, hypothetical. Like, 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 because my, like... Right? So he made a statement saying. about Jews, right? I do hear you. That's what the problem is. No, he didn't make a statement. He just posted something. Posted something. Yeah. Post, right? <laughs> he didn't right? make a right? statement. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, it was somebody else's words that people had a problem. So in America, we have Jews here, right? Right. A lot, a, a lot of Jewish people live in America. A lot, a lot of Jewish people live in America. Correct? So, how many games have been played so far? You want to keep fucking talking about the NBA. I just want to... No, I'm just, I'm just doing... He, make, he want to keep talking about the NBA. Because yours has not happened yet. You want to keep so talking you have about no the NBA. Stats. You have no stats. Because you want to keep talking about But you stats. have no stat on it. I'm a, I, I don't, don't care about the NBA. NBA. I'm not talking about the NBA I, I, here. I, I'm, I'm all I'm going is stats. I don't care about... what We're not so talking about want, the NBA. If, if we're on the committee, we're all we can do is about the reality NBA. on stats. He's we're not played, talking about the NBA here. He's played in 30, We're not talking about the NBA here. There's Jews here who was upset. And they have not boycotted one we're not talking yet. about the NBA here. That is my. We're not that's talking all I about have. the NBA here. That's we're all I We're not talking have. about the NBA here. You're hypothetical. We're not talking about the NBA here. It don't matter. You're hypothetical. But we're not talking about what the NBA. What is your information for them to make? We're not talking about the NBA. Okay. 
Because there's been the NBA, no, NBA we're not players. Talking, we're not are talking about the NBA here. Get it, Black there's an We're not talking about the NBA. You can keep saying it because we're not. You can keep saying because it because we're not. What is your fact? Black is the arena. Not. The fact is, all we're not right, talking about the NBA here. That's my fact. The fact is, it's a community. We're not talking about the NBA. The community only lives outside of the U.S. We're not talking about the NBA here. They're not. We're not talking about the NBA here. Oh, 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 oh. We're not talking about the NBA here. Because the people here. We're not talking about the NBA here. We're not talking about the NBA here, Gil. What's the logic? We're not. We're not because we're not talking. The, the logic, logic is, is we're not talking about right the NBA. The, the logic is we're not talking about the NBA. The man is moving right now in real time. We're, the logic is that we're not talking about the NBA. I'm talking about the Olympics. Let's just play basketball. How about yes. this? Is it, are okay. they going to play basketball cool. at the Olympics? Yeah, yeah. So he's playing basketball right now. Fuck right the NBA. Now. He's yeah. playing basketball. Right now. There's, ju- and people there's show- Jewish people here in every state. I'm not talking about not them. And they're not boycotting. I'm talking about the world. We're not talking about the United States. So keep, but there's, you want to keep interjecting people- what, you wanna, what, what your narrative wanted to be? You're not going to change what the fuck I'm saying. Gil. But you have no stat on it. You, my zero. Stat, we, won't, we won't know until we get bringing there. up stats here. Who's bringing up stats? We have to. We're Why? Making, Who? We're making a committee. Who? Stat man, stat man. Who's bringing up stats here? It's logics. The logic is say, we're not talking about the NBA here. If I say it, if we're <laughs> on the, the committee and we're like, okay, he's been yeah. 30-something games, he's been booed and? at all 30-something, he's been boycotted all 30-something, this is probably not a player we want on our team. That's, mm-hmm. We can do that, mm-hmm. right? Because we have uh, the research that says it. That's Look, the, once again, we're not talking the, about the, the NBA here. We're not talking that's about That's not the how it goes. We're not talking yeah. about the NBA here. Not as, talking about the United States. We're not talking is, about the NBA. What is Paris culture? Paris. We're not talking about the Jews. It is turned up. Are they Jews? They have, they have like, I can a, say, yeah, we don't want. I, I, this makes more sense. If Dre, if they don't want Draymond on there because he choked Rudy, that makes more sense. Oh, we're going to Paris. He might get booed. This might be some bad publicity. That makes sense because it's real. You're saying he's not going to make he get, it because what of the Kyrie world? Tweet, what the tweet, the world what Kyrie happened? put out there is real as well, Gil. And the fuck are you talking about? And the about? people here got upset. And it's the world, so you don't know what the other people around the world have to say, Gil, because you fucking live here. And you sit in your fucking house all day. I can... You don't know what other people around the world have to think and say. So you're saying like there's no Jewish... Do you? Pe- there's no Jewish people in America that has a, that felt some type of way? But, Gil... And they had something to say. Okay. And they still do. How many, how many outside of America, how, how many people got upset? We don't know. You don't know. No, but, the, and do you know the number you people that got upset know. here? But that's the point. And do you know the number of people that got upset here? How many countries got upset? How many people got upset here? How many countries got? How many people got upset here? A lot. And that's my. A lot got upset around the world too, nigga. How do we know? How, how do you know a lot got upset here? Because we heard them. They writing their their. So if you lived other places, guess what you would have heard? The motherfuckers that was upset. But you don't know that. So We're you heard that. everybody. So everybody here We're that was guess, upset, you I'm, heard them. What I'm saying is, so everybody that was here that was upset, you heard. All right, final, I'm, final point. No, right? Final, final point. Right? Final point. Right? So everybody in the United States that was upset, you heard. Yeah, when they you were talking, I let you talk for like right? twenty minutes. I let you talk for twenty minutes. Right. All I'm saying is, we no, we went here. back and forth, nigga. You no, didn't let me talk. No, we didn't. I just said, nigga. We went back and forth. There was no point. You gonna let anybody just fucking talk? Lexi's Lexi Arena. You Lexi Lexi Arena. Talking to both of them. I'm talking to you too, nigga. Real spicy today. It's getting way too spicy right now. We don't live outside of the United States, so we can't say what they did or what they're going to do. That is fantasy. We do not know what they're going to do. We're just guessing. Right. What but we that's can what do. What is saying is that they're going to have to do their due j- diligence before but, they make that decision. But right. If they decide that, that nothing's going to happen, then he's but, just going to make. But what, what are they going to go after? We have we have one country that we know exactly what happened. Right now, we have Jews here that were upset then. He's playing in games now. They're not doing anything. And once again, you want to keep talking, talking about, about the United NBA. States of America. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep talking about the NBA in the United States of America. If the, if the Olympics were in L.A. this year, then your point would be very valid. It's yeah. the only point we have right now. Uh, no, we don't no, know what the world's no, going to do because okay. we're not there yet. Yeah. So you're arguing for something that no, hasn't I'm happened. arguing for something that it's a real thing that could possibly be a part of the company. Possibly, to, again. They have to absolutely. Keep you, you, you can't use possibly and say it's a fact. Yeah, it's but we're not possibly. talking about it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I possibly, it's, I, I, hey, it's risk, hey, risk assessment. I, I possibly can win the next Gil's Arena shootout. Yeah. <laughs> Gil, do you want to know? You wanna, I can possibly win it. You got that don't mean it's a fucking fact. Do you As know? of right now, we know I only made 12. Because you keep talking about the NBA. Do you know? We only know I made 12. That's all we know right now. 12. Possibly. Yeah. 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 Gil, do you want to know what is a fact? What's that I fact? have some sad news to report. Uh, after nearly 70 years in the game, uh, the future of Sports Illustrated is uncertain after mass layoffs this past Friday. Who? Sports Illustrated, Gil. Your Just favorite magazine. Wait, it's over with? Fuck that. Sports Illustrated. Wait, it's over? 
They was over like fucking... going online. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> like they just gonna go online? Huh? Nah, they're not doing sports nah, anymore. No. So S- SI's been struggling. <laughs> They've been struggling recent years. Uh, bought by Authentic Brands Group back in 2019. Uh, ABG sold the publishing rights to Arena Group, but they recently missed a payment, had their license revoked. Uh, Sports <laughs> Illustrated has been the subject of controversy lately Dang. after it was revealed that some articles oh, were, the AI were generated AI. with artificial okay. intelligence posted by fake authors. They had fake with fa- people that they made on AI and was writing articles. Not the People's AI Guild, artificial intelligence. Was writing articles for them? They, they were like, they you know, you know you have GPT. Nobody. Uh-huh. Somebody would have wrote for free. It was a fake person. Sports Illustrated. Well, you know, the only basketball magazine we care about in Hoop is uh, Slam Magazine. Okay. And so. I don't care about Slam Speak on it, Brandon. For Hoopers, you know, we Slam Magazine. They didn't ask me to be on the WNBA Swimsuit Edition. Shout out to Slam Magazine, too. Sports Illustrated, I gotta give my shout out to Slam Magazine. Sports Illustrated like that. So for the, for the older people on the couch, what does Sports Illustrated mean to our generation? Shit. SI, SI kids. It was a big deal back in our head. SI kids Shit. Cool. Shit. It don't mean nothing. They ain't really? put me on the cover for my decision to go overseas. We talked about that, bro. You already know they were plotting against you. I'm, I'm just saying. See, I, I, both, I felt like that was a big... Been on a cover. I felt like that was a big decision. And no Sports swimsuit? Illustrated didn't give me no, love no. because it is... Did they bring you to the course. player pool for the swimsuit? I don't know how that decision... Just but know to me, it? culture-wise, I mean, we care about Slam Magazine. Like yeah, Slam Magazine is the playing. culture for, for for basketball. Well, I got a dope ass Sports Illustrated cover. So fuck oh the shit, song. my bad, OG. <laughs> fuck the y'all talking about shit. My Sports Illustrated cover, dope. So <laughs> shit. No, you can have your personal feelings. Like, hey, hey, more power to you. <laughs> more power to you. Yeah, my they, Sports they, Illustrated they, they cover, dope. I got a, I got a Slam the cover. Boy, I got the bad boy with the I got a Slam cover. I got a Which Sports Illustrated that? cover. Huh? Your rookie year? Second, second or third year. That's fire. In my great Nets jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a. Yeah. No nipple showing either pull, but yeah. very, 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 shown, very, very. Yeah. Slam gave me a spread. Oh, yeah. that's the tattoo one. Yeah. 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 No, got a dope. No. Yeah. Slam, Sports Illustrated. Sports, I got a. Sports Illustrated cover. Hell no. I think that was a. Did you never make Sports Illustrated? Like Sports Illustrated. Stand we have in a Sports Illustrated? Yeah. Absolutely. I don't never. Absolutely. Damn, I never read this. I never went through the sports. Well, we, got we just looked at the cover. <laughs> just looked at the cover. Ooh, this is a nice cover. So, more generation for the hoops community: Sports Illustrated or Slam Magazine? Ooh. I mean, it sport, depends I mean, on where you're from. Sport, I mean, well, I mean, I'm gonna say Slam Magazine is just basketball. Sports Illustrated was like everybody in sports is gonna buy that magazine. So, if you was on a cover of that, I think it was just different, um, just because it was worldwide. Slam is just strictly, just like, world. Slam is strictly just basketball. Like, if you're a hooper, that's, like, everybody's ultimate goal to get on the cover of Slam. Felt more for the culture. Obviously, Sports Illustrated throwing a lot of different yeah. sports at the wall, illustrating a lot of different <laughs> sports, as the name suggests. Yeah. Where Slam, we're just talking about hoops. Yeah. yeah. The Sports Illustrated is like the GQ. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's like GQ. Yeah, GQ. Like, it's like the GQ of sports. Like, yeah. if you got on cover of that, it's like, oh, who the hell is, like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. Like, Slam more the source in that wavelength. The source. <laughs> more, you know, nah, not, that wavelength. Nah, it's just more like... <laughs> the source. It was just... Great magazine. You know. Great award show. Especially in 1995. Yeah, yeah Slam's for the culture. Yeah, they, Slam is doing their 30th... Uh, I, think, I think Slam is having their 30th anniversary this year for their magazine. I think they're doing the 30th most influential players ever. So do you feel like you should be I in heard. their top 30? I don't know. Mm. We'll see when that list comes. If you are not in that top 30, is it going to be... It's issue? beef. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. It's is beef. It hostile territory? It's going to be a problem if I'm not on that list. And Ken, you talked about Most your Sports Influence. Illustrated yeah. cover. What was the process behind that? And what did you think first time you saw that magazine stands? Oh, no, yeah. My agent didn't want me to do it at all. <gasps> oh. Oh, they was against it. Why? Because I was out there knocking people out. Hey. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> Shit, they, they was against it. <laughs> Wholeheartedly. Everybody in that muffin like, nope, nope, nope. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Team where everybody like, no, uh-uh. To be on the cover? But just this. Oh, that. They didn't want me showing my tattoo. Mm. Uh, it was a different time. That, I will right? say that. Like, they didn't want me showing. Because like, of what it said. It was the 90s. I know, mm. that's so mm. crazy. Said, it was my badass yellow boy, mm-hmm. right? So, Peter, they didn't want me to, because the way I was menaced, I'm... Mm-hmm. And motherfucker, like, come on, man. You, 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 oh, you want this what, this what you want the world to see? I'm like, absolutely. Thought process, process behind that tattoo, the badass yellow boy tattoo. Oh, growing up in the South. You uh, said, I'm getting, when did you decide to get that tattoo? No, like, no like, let's say growing up in the South, like, if you light skinned, they call you yellow. And then there was a song, um, <laughs> UNLV from New Orleans, they was beefing with Mystical. And they had a song, it's called Badass Yellow Boy. And okay. it resonated. Yeah, wholeheartedly. <laughs> so. 
I was over here. Hey, do, you feel, do you feel now, looking back, you was before his time because of what is it, what's uh, like accepted now? Like being able to, you know, just be like you was being you, right? And and they didn't want you, like yeah, so, like, yeah, like yeah. I wasn't boy, changing, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, I was. Like I'm saying, like that's why, like me and Chuck, like that's why we so. Mm -hmm. like, he was doing his way, and we were. Mm -hmm. Like of course he is him, like yeah. but I was. Pretty much in the same. Like I'm not changed. I'm gonna be me no matter what. I'm gonna play the game the way I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna beat me off the floor. I'm gonna beat me on the floor, and it's yeah. So it was mm -hmm. yeah. No, it was. But everybody was against it. Everybody in the room. Like but, we did but at the we did, then we did it at the next practice facility too, right? Uh -huh. That's the irony. Uh -huh. At the that. practice facility, and they, everybody, that motherfucker, like, nah, we, you can't do this. Nah, that's not. So I said, yeah, we doing it. Yeah, you already know your mind's processing and churning. It worked with you long enough. <laughs> yeah, I know how you work. Yeah. Uh, you may not say it right now, but I already know how your body's churning. Yeah. I know, I know my favorite magazine. Well, <laughs> 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 Illustrated. It was. Uh, it was, I think it was Shaq holding okay, Kobe up. I thought he was going to say something okay, crazy. Okay, yeah, there we go. Shaq holding Kobe up, and it was like, it's not like a crystal ball, and it had like a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had uh, Phil Jackson, like as a wizard, something like that. Yeah, yeah, for that sure. It just looked cool. It was just different. That was Sports Illustrated, right? That was... That was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite... What's your favorite... What, what's your favorite basketball magazine cover? Outside of yourself. No, I don't have that option. Like what was one, like what was one magazine you was like, oh that shit tough, like damn, like that's hard, like damn, like I gotta get on the cover because of like you know, like you know, as we are as hoopers. I'll say the one. I mean, I have other favorites, but I think the most recent one that I personally enjoyed. It didn't make me be like, oh damn, I need to get on the cover, but it was something that I just appreciated. Was the recent one they did with the LSU girls. And they had them in their uniforms, and their hair was done, and their makeup was done. They had the crowns. Like I just thought that was fire. Okay. Like accepting that, finally accepting mm -hmm. like, that type of look in the women's basketball space. Like mm -hmm. I just thought that was That's dope. Baller. Yeah. So this is I mean, Lexi. They did have a uh, sports I mean, was it swimsuit edition? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lexi, you mentioned they <laughs> did <laughs> fire. <laughs> Lexi, you mentioned they did the WNBA. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Which one? <laughs> Which one? Huh? The WNBA one? Uh huh. They had one in some bathing suits and stuff. I mean, What's the thing? Yeah, that was cool. I don't know what they were trying to prove. I wasn't even asked about that. I don't know what they, I don't know what they were trying to prove there. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We liked it. <laughs> we liked it. We liked it. What's, what's your favorite swimsuit edition? Obviously, those oh. were very heavy back in the day. Who? Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. Uh, I wasn't Tyra Banks. That. The Tyra Banks 97. I was buying King. Beyonce magazine. 2000. Yeah, very, I was, I was a, a, a nice magazine. publication as well, Brad. King very, Magazine. Very, yeah, I was a King on, Magazine. A very important I mean, publication. Yes, yeah, smooth. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, the ones with the paper over it, you got to rip it out to get it, you know. <laughs> hey, go in here, go get that one for me. Uh, <laughs> did you guys ever order any of the jewelry in the back of the magazines? Uh, now we ordered the girls so in the middle of the magazine. Hey, Joe, we old, right? So we ordered them. Fucking Jet Magazine, Beauty Jet, of the Week. Yes. <laughs> the little small that. boy. That's that's small that. I knew. Jet was like so I had a few dudes that around the way used to cut them out and make, they had them posted in their room. Like uh -huh. they had them by each. I'm like, yo, you each year. Bring that back. Jet, yeah, Jet them was little legendary. Little mini magazine. Absolutely. The little bitty, yeah. but great yeah. articles. Yeah. yeah. Good squares of journalism yeah. in Jet Magazine. The horny ass little boys go straight to what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all yeah, remember, yo, you remember that, cover uh, that cover shoot with um, Slam Magazine with uh, Sebastian Telfair and LeBron James? Yeah. In high school, mm -hmm. I think yeah, that changed the game for me. Like nah. that was that one that like, because that was the first time. You know, I was eighth grade. I think it was the first time I seen like high school players like in that element, tattoos, jewelry chains. Like that was like that was like the ultimate like turnaround piece for me. Was that OJ Mayo and the Phantom? The uh, Bentley. Bentley. Yeah, with the SC, with the SC, yeah, uh, mm. with the SC. That was go Bruins. That was different. Yeah. It was another spirited day. Lexi's arena. Glad we brought it all back. <laughs> <laughs> Just so y'all know, we may uh, get into base whatever on this show, but as soon as the cameras turn on, everybody. Oh, we cool. No, we cool. Oh yeah, he got to he got to teach me how to uh, turn on my goddamn egg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shit, right after this, I'm gonna ask him, man, when his wife gonna make the oxtails again? Oh really? Shit, listen. Damn, like, hey, no, no. no. Someone was like, God, what do they damn. do after? Yeah. yeah. Regular I shit. I don't appreciate y'all ignoring my whistle. 
Lexi oh, did yeah, bro her Lexi out in the winter. Oh, well, we got one more day. This bullshit ass whistle. Yeah, that shit. Yo. That damn whistle. Yeah, Lexi, you go. Lexi, you go. Listen, Lexi. Very expensive whistle, girl. Lexi, you probably want to go get your. You probably want to stop somewhere and get your air horn. Yeah. It might be a little better. Very. Bye bye. Shout out. Yeah, you might want to get your. Yeah, you. Yeah, you might want to go get your megaphone or air horn. That might be more suitable for this. And it wasn't even metal. That was all plastic. Very expensive. Wait, I didn't even hear that motherfucker, to be honest with you. I know y'all did it. Very turned up moment. Right. I was Gil's crying, arena. but y'all are... Gil... <laughs> For all those questions, my media any skills, when Gil's turned up like that, I know that we're not stopping till he feels like it, so... Y'all straight up ignored it. The show formerly known as Gil's Arena oh, or Lexi's Arena. <laughs> trust. They hear us. Oh, no, he got one. Now we hear him. So oh, we hear you niggas trust. just now. <laughs> I used to be offended by it, but as uh, we've grown, I've worked with Gil for almost three years now. Oh, Joe's looking at me. I was looking at him. What I'm you your arena. To I tried the whistle. Give that him a nudge. Give him some was smoke. My attempt. And it didn't <laughs> Motherfucker. <work. laughs> smoke it. Didn't it. Work. If you oversmoke it, then at some point they'll just have to stop. Because <laughs> they'll start smoking. Just, just, yeah, darken the whole room. Just hold that motherfucker down. We definitely will stop then. Like, all right. <laughs> the <lady jump. laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, produce one of the biggest cultural influence, Slam or SI? Culture. Culture black slam. 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 Yeah. For us, for Hoopers, we have Hoopers, 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 Hoopers slam. slam. We have, Overall, we have, you want to, as a kid, as a, as a, as a, uh, as a sports As an athlete? As an athlete, yeah, you want to be put on Sports Illustrated, though, as an athlete. Mm -hmm. But as a Hoopers, yeah, Slam. So we asked the chat, 52% said Slam, 48% mm. said SI. Oh, shit. That's how kids used to really move. Let's oh, not shit. Wait, so, quick question. Did football, okay, so Slam was basketball. Slam is strictly basketball. Strictly basketball. What was it? So did football have one and... They might. It was like sports. That's they what I said. It was on, if you was mentioned on Sports Illustrated, you was mentioned as the I'm pretty sure. yeah. like the they next might. one. Did I make up golf? It wasn't popular. But we wouldn't, have paid, it, but we wouldn't have paid attention. But we wouldn't have paid attention to it though. We would have yeah, seen it in a yeah. magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have seen it in a yeah, but we would. But that's what I said. Our I feel like our culture. Joints. Yeah, the college one. But I feel like basketball. That's why I said basketball is like. The magazine for us basketball is so different because like we actually had a magazine for us basketball. Like football, we, and you can market us. But that's but that's well, why. That, you, well, that's, that's, I mean, we handsome. So that's why there's the beef. Like, that was always yeah. that Everybody was always the beef with football dudes. The niggas wearing helmets. We want to date somebody with a helmet on. The niggas wearing helmets. Yeah. That was always the beef with football dudes. Like 145 of them on the college campus. Uh, 15 basketball players. Our faces very recognizable. Helmets, numbers. Oh, that was real. That was real beef. Like way on front. Listen, if she want to date a nigga with a helmet on, good luck. Okay, that says a lot. Okay, hide his face. Battles over work. See me every day, baby. Battles over work like the Crusades. We you couldn't even see half these niggas. Crusade like, level battles like? over work. <laughs> My name is some, from Alabama. Get the fuck out of here. Line in the sand. Yeah. Pick a side. Basketball or football. But then you had the dual sports. Players, Shout out Mercedes Lewis. The dual sport who'll come over. But when they were on the basketball side, they were. No, I just hate when football players be in the club with us. Shirts off and shit. Like, man, calm down. Bro. Like, <laughs> Move around. <down. laughs> This is true. Like, he just, like, sit down. You just, like, you just, you just you had 15. You just bottle them pop them. Just, yeah. you just order a whole bunch of bottles. And leave them niggas alone. Like a whole a whole line. Yeah. I'm but, a firm believer in it, man. You got to leave them niggas alone. No, for sure. Alone. No, for sure. No, for sure. I'm just, I'm just saying. Them bro. niggas fight to the death. <laughs> they fight with helmets on. Like you see them punching dudes. No, that's what I'm saying. They be head helmet on. They be headbutting each other. Like, dude. niggas are wearing helmets. Yeah. But I always wonder, yeah. as a hooper, that dynamic where you're in the city. I've seen a lot of NFL, NBA crossover cities at the club. Listen, what kind of issues? One thing about a Hooper, we we are not liked. Hoopers are not liked in any room work, because we're city. because we're the ones that's going to always come work in and get the best. City. One. Work city, work desert, <laughs> but if it's a I don't work care desert, what rapper, okay, what sports athlete is in there? Once Hoopers start coming in there, good Ooh, well, luck. Yeah. Well, I, I well. <laughs> Depends on what type of rapper. Depends. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just I didn't get like, that moment when somebody walked in. I was like, oh damn, it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no. young nigga too. I was, thought I was popping. Yeah, but but I had them all. Yeah, but walking that mother, I was like, damn. damn. Yeah, <laughs> but that's. Yeah, but that's I, and check, please. No, well, fuck I, you, going. I don't know, Kmart. Okay, I, I was in that. that I was in that way. one. Though. You talk to that one who you know. Where the fuck you going? <laughs> I don't know, Kmart. I don't know, uh, man. We, 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 we the ones, bro. I just Only because like, we like, like, are, I just feel like we the real. ones. Like, <laughs> you, 50 came through that bitch. No, no. I'm I, just saying, trust me. 50, 50 came through hey, that bitch. But that, that's a rare breed. Yeah, that's, like, you got yeah. him, Jay, Yay, yeah, that was you know, Drake. This is when we was, other than that, it's like. 
he, yeah. I, like this was. Oh, when he was, oh, yeah, back yeah. Then, 50 back here. Listen. Yeah. Then, then, that shit, I was like, oh, damn. Oh, look at the covers. Look at the covers. Look at y'all. Hey, Gil, I ain't gonna front. That tag was hard, but I was, hey, 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 Gil, I played you the next day after I did the photo shoot, too, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And I bust your ass. Oh, really? No, you didn't. Oh. Thanks, so now I, I think I, I think we played. I think we played okay against each other. Like, we wasn't, you know. Yeah, where the slam cover at? Where's my cover of Gap 2? Oh, I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. That's where it's afraid of bad boy. is fucking tough. They did not want me to do that shit. Man, what, uh, S-curl, what kind of hair do? I had my, I had my, yeah, I'm You wrote a hero. I, I had my young oh, He's a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's illustrated for real, for real. But can I want you to imagine us a little bit younger than you having to see that magazine and then, you know, fear seeing you in the I street. I want to know how many people got the tattoo. People thought I was Somalian back then. Too. How many people got like the tattoo Somalia. after? They thought I was from like Toronto or something. <laughs> You definitely look like you're from the island. You definitely look like you're from the island. Yeah, because I have my little, my little yeah. beads. You definitely yeah, look like Yeah, I went to a local like, look, hairstylist up in Milwaukee. You definitely look bohemian. Yeah, they was like, you Somalian? <laughs> hey, Somalian look, or from the Caribbean. Absolutely, sure. you definitely or, from the Caribbean. Or what? They thought I was going to do some Captain Phillips. Or what? That was robbing the boat. <laughs> or what? Yeah, my slam covered the I'm the captain now. Yeah, All right, so let's move on you to You look like you could have been a girl up there. Huh? Oh, that was your or? You said what? We could have been a girl up there. Oh, damn. 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 Put a little damn. wig on, put a lipstick on. Damn. 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 Get who about Joanna, man? Who is that up there? Oh, God. That's, Brand that's Brandy. That ain't Brandy. Who is that up there? That's Brandy. That's Brandy. That's that was Brandy. That looked like the actor from Joanna, man. So, first question from, from, from underdog user Speffy <laughs> said, with the trade oh, deadline girl. approaching, damn. Speffy. I got to start looking so damn good. All right. I'm about to, I'm, I, all right. I'm going to get a tat right here on top of my forehead. <laughs> She only like. I had a pretty nice outfit. Oh, period! I can't go to jail. I'm not. Hey, like, like you, I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm Put me away by myself. <laughs> away. I don't want to see shit. Don't see shit. I talk to these walls. I read. <laughs> <laughs> well, Martin says shit. I know they're going to try to fuck me. <laughs> Nigga says shit. I'm going to wipe my hand with my ass. My wave going to stink. <laughs> <laughs> come on, get it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ew, uh, come on, come on. Come on, get it. My whistle is on the floor. Whistle, okay, this is still Lexi's arena <laughs> presented by Hundred Dog Fantasy. Threw my damn whistle. Gil, Gil <laughs> broke the expensive <laughs> whistle. Hey, yo, no expenses hey, spared. Hey, no expenses spared on this beautiful set for Lexi's <laughs> arena. Uh, first question from the chat from Hundred Dog User Speffy. With the trade deadline approaching, what team could KJ Martin go to to show what he's got? Yeah, hey, I know you probably can't answer that question. Yeah, I'm obviously, stay out of it. you know. Fakers. Sixers. Are, okay. Well, Fakers. Yeah, I just want to see him get some playing time. Man. Okay. Yeah. Because he deserves it to be on. Like he, you don't. Fine do young gentleman. You, yeah, but you don't do what you've done in this league for the last three years, man. And get in a situation where you like there's no minutes. Yeah. You went from, like last. He started more than halfway through the year last year. And those starts, he averaged 15 as a starter and played 30 minutes a night. Hey. All right. 29, 30 minutes a night. Average 15 as a starter. 12, he averaged 12 throughout the year, but 15 as a starter. I don't want to call nobody out, but as a starter, Tobias Harris got paid, like, at the time, like, mm -hmm. 180 million or some shit. Okay. He was averaging 15. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. The kid can fucking play the game of basketball, and I just want to see him play. That's all. I, I, I'm... I'm have a hard time tuning in the games and my man ain't in. Mm -hmm. Not become bitter. Not having and not having nothing to say. So I just want to give him an opportunity to play somewhere. So Okay. Lakers Gil, you said? Yeah, bring him Lakers. bring him to the Lakers. Shit. Wouldn't well, that mind it? Uh, shit, Milwaukee. Oof. Shit, we need some athleticism. We need you something. You wish Doc Rivers on him? I don't wish Doc Rivers. I just wish success okay. and yeah, opportunity. So right, well, that, that's, yeah, what it, that's, that's what it is. Doc, we support you. Uh, shit bring show. KJ. We, we support hey. your culture. I just want to get on that float out. So next question. Yeah, he went to Bob. He'd be like, damn, he went to Doc. But shit, fuck hey, it, man. man. <laughs> I mean, go on. So let next question from underdog user uh, Rovo Suave. Oh. Who's a former NBA WMA player that would have been MVP level if they never got injured? WNBA. I'm thinking WNBA. Uh, what an MVP if they would have never got hurt. Uh, Rovo Suave said, mine is B-Roy. 
Oh, we're talking about like that type of. Brandon Roar? There's not MVP? Really many W players. Who would have been MVP if they never got hurt? Yeah. Brandon Roy. Hmm? You yep. say Brandon Roy? You say, you say Brandon Roy yep. too? Yep, I like Brandon Roy. Yep. I played Brandon Roy my rookie year. Who he was cooking us. Brandon Roy, friend of the program. MVP? T Mac? Did he have He never won MVP, right? He didn't win MVP. Yeah. He probably won one. T Mac? I was. I was going back. Penny? Anthony? What a great name. All three of them dudes, man. Grant, Penny, and, and Mac. Like on the WNBA side? There's not really many that like have had like career ending like that, but I would say an injury plagued player that probably would have won multiple MVPs would probably be like Elena Deladon. Well, what's the funny is, <clears throat> let me just be honest, you could have said anyone, we would have known. Gil. I'm just saying. This, is, this is Lexi's arena. No, no, well, I'm that's just saying. why I was like searching. No, my I'm just saying. Like, you could have been like name. Cynthia Smith. We would have been like, oh, that's crazy. I was like, let me let me at least say a name that like y'all might recognize. So y'all, you know who Elena Deladon is. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, if you would have named anybody, we would have been She's like, damn, that's crazy. crazy. Le Lexi, you do not have to switch yeah. it up on Lexi's no, arena. No, you do not no, have to cater to, these things to, in mind to the I, former show's name. Say we do know. We do know. When I say my list, I don't every episode give some obscure name. No, we do know players. Every Every episode, Gil moves a little bit further away from the center. I'm over here like, shit. By design. We're yo, have, I felt hey, it. We're have, hey, yo, you know who else? I, mm, man, the way he came out, I feel like Blake Griffin had a chance. The way he came out. When did he get hurt? Shit. When his first, first rookie year? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, and good then he point. had that, like, that Fuck. run for a minute. But I just feel <laughs> no, like he, I mean, He it just had have. all the momentum his for His first too. rookie year? Yeah, you're right. He like, he had had the poten like, he had the potential. <laughs> what did he end up hurting? His pinky yeah. toe? I don't know. Everybody. I'm just talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking. Shit. It was no, he broke it. Didn't it someone his leg? Yeah, it was a knee. It was, oh, yeah. I, think it, it was, I, I don't think it was. <laughs> he shot my pinky toe. Yeah, it wasn't no ACL or nothing, but it was. So Deladon won MVP 2015, 2019. You said even more than that. Yeah. If you would have. For sure. So Chad's saying Yao, Grant Hill. Yao. Yao. Oh, Yao. Damn. Forgot about Yao's the only Yao's the only player I ever been around that moved like the president. Yao. When I was in China. He was the only person I But Yao came, came Yao really came in this motherfucker hurt though. Well yeah, I mean, yeah. That's uh, they they said uh when uh when I was in Shanghai, they said what they used to make him do, like he was he had feet problem back then. Because they didn't know how to practice. They didn't know how to practice. A lot of them like that. That's all. So yeah, they said they didn't know how to practice. So well, they'd just be like, "All right, just run." They so they'd just be running for four hours. Shit. shit. Oh no, their practices is like the what, the shit. I mean, you, the shit that we've seen. Cause they start them early, though. They run. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. so they practice they all play. day. Play. Four years all day. Four, four oh, years they play all day. Wait, they have to write things in their contracts. I can only practice this amount of hours probably a now, week. Now, now, yeah, probably yeah. now. When people go over there. Hey, the weed out, you gotta weed it out. You know, you know, you know, it's bad when Yao has a uh, fly here to have his child in Houston, so she's American. Wow, yeah, that's. Y'all hey, have no control over my child. Y'all not gonna run her to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I think you get taxed. I mean, kids you have. So if you have like yeah, they over, got some, over they like got two something kids, different going on over there. And then like, and then now the government owns your kids over there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, damn. Yeah, no. That's crazy. It is crazy. So before we go, let's take a look at the Kmart uh, slam cover, oh. which our producer diligently. Oh my bad. I was grabbing. Ooh. Oh yeah, the rim, 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 rim. Well, I guess I gotta get a slam cover now. Shit. Yo, hey, I can make that happen. Yeah, that was back to back. That was coming in that motherfucker then. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary. Well, another, another. I think people be thinking I'm a bum, dog. Should we need no, to get? Should we need to get? No, people that don't know, like the younger generation, motherfucker. Like they think I was sorry as shit. It's okay, Kane. Yeah. People yeah. think yeah. I was a bum until I beat y'all in the fucking yeah. mid-range shooting they're, contest. They're young, Kane. It's yeah, not yeah, their yeah. fault. Yeah, no, they're, I, I don't fault them for what they don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it is tough. Slam Magazine need to give us the no. first guilt, uh, the oh, first podcast, podcast basketball, like basketball magazine cover oh. shoot. Hell yeah. That will be oh, fire. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to Apple. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, oh, hey, Slam, hey, what up, man? My like, case is uh, Sports Illustrated too, right? <coughs> that was Sports Illustrated. Yeah, yeah it's sports. That's crazy. Y'all forgot. All right, y'all. Y'all better hope he ain't watching. Y'all better hope he ain't watching. Y'all better, yeah, you better hope he's asleep right now with the work. All right, Paulo. All right, all y'all. All right, back there. Rashad did have at least one Sports Illustrated cover. Bear. Yeah, put his Sports Illustrated. We do not want to hear that motherfucker tomorrow. College basketball preview 2004 05. Oh, if that counts. 
Solo, stop. Solo, but solo on the magazine. Solo. College basketball joint? No, but the he sports illustration. College basketball oh, magazine. Yeah, Rashad. Okay. It's him by himself? Oh, yeah. yeah. Him by himself. Solo. Hey, yo, solo. he gonna have a problem with that y'all ain't put that up there. I'm letting you know that right now. He's in here tomorrow. We're gonna run it tomorrow when he's on the show. Are we getting the whole crew here tomorrow? Did you yeah, work that out? Okay. Cause underdogs say they don't never know what the fuck going on in your head. They just want to <laughs> make sure everybody knows what you're doing. The fans say, there you go. Why is and it's blurry. blurry. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be hot. Look, look, yeah, man, I got the blurry. <laughs> he gonna be hot. He gonna be hot. Hey, hey, we will have hey. it cleared up. <laughs> Our it's <producer>. obvious. <laughs> Our producer team yeah. works very diligently to get this shit on. Damn, yeah. Yeah. Shy, they got you blurring you know the he motherfucker. You know coming in tomorrow? He's going to have that on a t-shirt. Hey, 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 damn. Watch. Hey, Watch. I bet you got on the way to the mall. They blur that nigga out, We need some man. Gilbert t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Gilbert t-shirts, sweatshirts, some Air McCann. A lot of uh, McCann's products we're still waiting on. Right now. Hey, those video that. games, okay. all that, dog. Uh, but out. this has been another day. Do you still have any of them? I know, right? That shit. Like, when you look at it now, like, nigga, I was on the video. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah March yeah, Madness. This, yeah, yeah, PlayStation joint. Ooh. Look. Yeah, you be like, you just be sitting there like, yeah, yeah, this is. Man, I got a Sprite machine at the house. But at the house you live in now? Yeah, I got a Sprite machine. Wow. Yeah. I never had one of those. Me either. Well, me on, yeah, yeah. You just, no, with me on, not just a Sprite. Yeah. Like, <laughs> with me on the bitch. Fuck him. Is it yeah. still functional, though? Is it yeah. still it's Sprite just, in there? It was a quarter, probably a quarter, 50 cent back then, right? Yeah, yeah it was then. It's free now. Yeah, it's free now. Oh, it's just free. It was a quarter now. Yeah. Back so, then, it's crazy. Hell yeah, I'm charging. Can we feel it? Uh, yeah. Another yeah. spirited yeah. day in Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, whoop! Whoop! For our last show of the week tomorrow. Good job, Lexi. Thank you. You're on point. So you're getting better as the week going on. Uh -huh. One more day. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. So look, if we, right. if, if we get canceled, it will be.